whoa, that started way faster than it ever has before in the history of starting a stream. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. All right, there we go. Immediately just into the, uh, the thump, thump, thump. Let's get some music on. All right, you can still hear me though, right? Bum, 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 bum. Space Jam DVD, Space Jam DVD, Space Jam DVD. Okay, so I'm on window capture, which I don't think I've done before, apart from doing one of the, um, the whatchamacallit streams. You can see my mouse. What if I dragged something in front of the window? Nah, that wouldn't do anything, would it? I've had the Space Jam DVD stuck in my head for several weeks now. Yep. Actually, maybe the sound is echoing. My bad. Hold on. Let me get the headset on. Now it's quiet, right? Hey, did this did the stream just flicker for you guys? Did the screen go black for like a second there? No? Okay. So I'm noticing there's like this was happening on the last computer too, so it's not unique to this computer. I'm noticing that um I intermittently uh my monitor is just flashing the black for like not even a second. Maybe like half a second. And and I'm noticing that I have two monitors hooked in. It's only happening to the one, so I think it's an issue with this monitor, right? It's a different cable, so it's not the cable. So I'm guessing it's either there's an issue with the monitor itself or the port on the monitor side, I think. Every so often, it just, yeah. It just kind of flickers. Do you have FreeSync G-Sync enabled on your monitor? I do have G-Sync enabled on my monitor. That would seem I just turn off, but then I'm not getting the full G-Sync experience, Canis. Maybe I want, what does G-Sync even do? Fewer G, exactly. And not only, they're unsynchronized. It's probably static electricity building up. I have the same problem. <laughs> what? What? Joe live, first time chat from viewer. Oh, thank you, first time chat. Welcome, Sandy Claus. Do, do, do. do you have any sources of loose amber in your room? <laughs> That's one of the best chat comments ever. Congratulations. What an amazing comment. <laughs> Based on your humming, your voice audio is a bit behind the computer audio. Not sure if that matters. Really, do you think so? Hmm, hold on. Uh, what can I play? Okay, I'm gonna sing along to it, okay? Not this part. I lied. Text me at all. Ready? Here you go. Space Jam DVD, 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 Space Jam DVD. Alright, am I am I out of sync with it or what? It didn't play. Oh great, okay, cool. Alright, so I was just singing like like a psychopath. A bit? It sounded good. You're out of touch. I'm out of time. 
It may be your timing. It was not my timing. I guarantee you. I guarantee you my timing was right on. Music was really low. All right. It's on. Ca it's capped now. All right. You ready? Space Jam DVD. 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 All right. So how how off am I? 0.15 seconds out of sync. I'll take it. That's fine. That's that's okay. I'm a little behind. I'm off by 250 milliseconds. It just keeps getting worse and worse. All right, half a second. All right, soon you're gonna say it's still playing, and I'm not done singing yet. All right, hopelessly out of sync. A little, a little bit off. All right, it just keeps getting like higher. A whole, it's a whole second now. A whole second. What's the context of Space Jam DVD? It's just a guy singing Space Jam DVD. Two se two seconds out of amber. One hour. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so what do I do? I, I, you, I mess with the audio right and I put the offset for the audio all right we'll go minus 250 now I could just go to the other computer and see what those settings are but we're not gonna do it that way all right it is now at minus 250 sync offset minus 250 all right ready here we go again all right you tell me Space Jam DVD. 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 All right, is it better or it's it's worse? All right, so it should go the other way then. All right, it should be plus two fifty. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome. to This isn't even the audio we're testing. Welcome to the stream. All right, two fifty. All right, here we go. Space Jam DVD, 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 Where is Witcher 3? 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 Okay, we're done? Alright. It's fine? Okay. Couldn't be better. I'm pretty sure it could be better. All right, so this isn't even the audio problem. All right, so a lot has happened since we last spoke. Um, a lot has happened. All right, so uh, let's go through it. Um, I have completely wiped all of the audio drivers on the system. I did an audio test on a different USB port, which is now currently plugged into. Uh, it was plugged into the right USB kind of port. It was plugged into a USB 3, but it was plugged into a USB 3.2 Gen 1. It's now plugged into a USB 3.2 Gen 2. I don't know what those are. Apparently, it only needed a USB 3. It didn't need 3.2 or Gen 1 or Gen 2 or whatever, but it's plugged into the most advanced port on the, on the motherboard. Um, I also wiped the drivers completely, like all of them just completely gone. I didn't even have sound. And I restarted after every single one, and then I installed the basic motherboard drivers just in case it was missing those. So it has a Realtek audio driver on it, and it also has the the um, audio whatever. Um, the audio interface uh, is on there now too. Um, I also found out that the 3.5 millimeter jack is broken. Um, so I, I did, you know, some Joe level fixes, um, and it's okay now, but I'm probably going to order another one. So the, the headset I have doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack. It has just a normal audio jack that goes into a normal computer. So I have to put that in a like larger 3.5 millimeter and then plug that into the audio interface. You know what I mean? Um, so I have to do that. I, so I have to get a new one, but right now it's working fine. Um, so I did that. And I also installed three more fans into the case because it only had two fans in it to make it cooler. And I also um, did some benchmarking and learned that I'm dumb and I bought a CPU that is like, like came like, like, like the cooler I got can't keep it cool when it's at under load because basically the, the program goes, let's see how hot we can get. And the CPU goes like, oh yeah, all right, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> the CPU is like, well, let's see how hot we can get them, motherfucker, and it just keeps it just keeps going to like 100 degrees Celsius. Um, so, uh, like, so I think I have to get a new cooler if I wanna if I wanna push push the uh, the benchmark to its highest level. But I don't think I, I was using Cinebench, um, and the CPU is a 12900K unlocked. 
So you imagine my face when I'm sitting there like like trying to figure out why I can run the Hitman benchmark, Hitman 3 benchmark, and it's not even getting above 70 degrees Celsius. And then I I run the Cinebench one to test the, the, the multi-cores on the CPU, and it's hitting 100 degrees after 45 seconds. Um, so like, and then I op I look at the box and it says unlocked and I feel like an idiot. Now, of course it can, it can be cooled. It's just the CPU cooler I have for it. I don't think is enough for it. It's a Noctua U12S. That's what I have. And I don't know that from memory. I just looked across the room. Um, so I think I need a better cooler, but I don't think anything I ever do on this computer is ever going to get to the level of like purposefully seeing if we can throttle the CPU instead of bench. You know what I mean? Like that's what the test was a, can we throttle your CPU test? So I don't think it ever will. I don't, I don't think anything else ever will throttle it. So, um, I think it's okay. Did you put, pa I did put the paste. Yeah. Here's a, here's a story about what happens whenever I build a new computer. Okay. Here's what happens. I, I order the parts after I'm done ordering the parts. I realize, Oh shit. I forgot to buy thermal paste. I place another order for thermal paste. And then all the parts get here before the thermal paste. And then I open the CPU heatsink I ordered and it already came with thermal paste. So in the house somewhere, I think I have like, like four tubs of thermal paste that, that, that I've never opened. <laughs> Yeah, little toothpaste, like, um, tube, sorry. Um, you know, the little, little squeezy ones, like, yes. <laughs> Although, joke's on me, um, this time it didn't get here. The, the one I ordered didn't get here. I don't know, I don't know where it is. Someone in Moncton has, has some thermal paste, not knowing what it is, and is just opened up and is like, oh, 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 okay, I don't know what this is, but, uh, all right. Um, so, yeah. T tubes, tubes, tubes. A U12S is fine. If you need more cooling, you might want to knock to it. And NHD15, but your purpose currently cool is probably fine. Yeah, um, I did some research about it, and apparently this, like, someone did a, a stress test to see if, if this CPU could even be air-cooled, and I watched a video on it. And the one I had couldn't do it, so I felt a little better about it because it was Cinebench, but I think, I think everything else will be fine. Like, I've done rendering on this computer already, and we did the streams and everything. Um, the GPU is nice and cool, uh, and it, like, it, it just laughed at the Hitman 3, um, uh, benchmark, and the last computer couldn't even run that, um, on the level that I did it on. Uh, like, everything was cra cr cracked, it was cranked, and, the, the, like, the CPU just laughed at it. So, it's, it's pretty good, and it didn't get hot, so I think it's alright. It's probably more about your case, overall case airflow than CPU. I don't think so. Like the, I have a lot of fans in this thing and it's set up quite well. Um, the case I have doesn't have uh, any exhaust on the front. It's a glass case. So I have two fans on the bottom blowing cold air up through the case because it's a race case. And I have two fans on the top, like drawing hot air out. And I tested the airflow on all of them. It has arrows on it as well, but I also tested like with a tissue to make sure that um, it's it's actually, the air is being drawn the same way. And I have a fan on the back um, blowing air out. Is the CPU fan sideways then? Yeah, it is, yeah. It wouldn't fit otherwise. It wouldn't fit like that. What are the game list status? Here, let me tell you what kind of a chat I am, all right? <clears throat> In this case, there are five uh, case case fans, all right? Um, two don't have any lights at all, and we're, and we're scavenged from old computers, all right? They don't have any lights at all. The other three have RGB lights on them, okay? And I didn't even plug the RGB in. I was like, I don't need it. I don't care. I just... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it, it could have RGB, but I'm just like, eh, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You're so fake. I'm not. They're really off. I swear to God. I didn't even plug them in. I don't care. I don't need my case to be RGB. The GPU is RGB, but... <laughs> Excuse me, but that's I can't decide that. That's how it came, you know. Do 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 no RGB, no RGB. Where is Witcher three? Where is Witcher three? Where is Witcher three? Where is Witcher three? Are you going to do a Discord stream announcement? Nah. 
we're this is just an audio test. We're just gonna be playing Vampire Survivors. If I was doing a real stream right now of like um of uh, Resident Evil 8 or something, then I would. But I'm a little concerned. We might switch some things over today, and we might go back and start playing Hollow Knight a bit because I don't know what the issue is. Um, anyway, so that's that's why I said so. Uh, there's there this the case is a lot cooler now. The airflow is much better. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna speak like an expert. Maybe the airflow is the problem, but I don't think so. <clears throat> but like, if someone else, if an expert actually came here and looked at the case and told me that, I would believe them. But um, it just seems to be that that the Cinebench just just caps it. I don't know. Like, I I just don't think the cooler on it is enough for it uh, for the setup. But if I'm wrong, if someone has this exact same setup. Um, and is like, no, that, that cooler with one, it only has one fan on it. The CPU cooler only has one fan. Um, it, it's not a dual fan thing. Um, and once again, that cooler is a Noctua NHU12S. That's what it is. Um, that's the cooler that's on the CPU. And the CPU is a, is a 12900K. Uh, and it just, it <clears throat> gets to above 90 very quickly when I do the 10 minute throttle test on Cinebench for multi-core. Uh, I think the single core is fine. The single core wouldn't overheat, but the the multi core uh, immediately gets above ninety degrees and just slowly creeps up to a hundred over over a minute. And once it it hits a hundred, I I kill the test. I won't let the computer crash, but it does throttle, so it's pretty bad. Um, so I think it's just in a bench, and the cooler is not enough for it. Everything else has been fine. No liquid cool CPU. I wish, but I'm not. I'm not that confident in my pc building skills maybe next time i think it's been three computers in a row i've said next time i'll do i'll do liquid cooling next time for sure but i uh i just haven't had the balls to do it throttling is good that means your cpu is in go to heat yeah but it'll still crash the system right if it throttles enough or if it gets hot enough won't it won't it eventually crash if it's getting to 100 degrees celsius maybe i, I have to calibrate the overclocking settings or whatever a little bit i don't know Joe, can you speak 1.7 times faster, please? I've been watching VODs for a year and a half. No, I can't, sorry. 100 degrees Celsius really. Bad. Yeah, exa exactly, right? Like, yeah. I don't think it's good. But any anything else I've ever done, I've never gotten, gotten it above 70 degrees. Yeah, 12900K is an extremely hot CPU. It's just don't overclock with it. I never overclock anything. I, I'm not that kind of... Uh, I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I don't overclock anything. Speaking of, do do do. Let's start the hardware monitor to make sure it doesn't get too hot right now. What are we at? We're at forty six degrees. Right. Oh, it heard me. Now it's up to forty nine. Now it's down to forty. What are you doing, CPU? You're all over the place. Uh, we are at forty four degrees right now. Forty one. Just sitting here idling. So me, apparently me transferring over all of my uh, Witcher shit from the NAS uh, is more taxing than what we're doing right now. Because that was getting the CPU up to 50. Just downloading six, six video files at a time from the NAS was like getting it to 50. And right now we're at, we're at 40. Okay, that's pretty good. Anyway, should we play a game? What is your ambient temperature in the room, you mean? Uh, it is a little below 20 degrees Celsius in here. Do, 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 do. What the fuck? That's cold, is it? I like it cold. Can you sing another song? No. When is the last Hollow Knight stream going on to YouTube? Uh, maybe tomorrow. It'll go on soon. We might do more Hollow Knight today. Finn has been playing Hollow Knight, and he beat uh, Broken Vessel the other day. He's very excited. He's gotten really far. He has gotten... He's done all of Deep Nest. He's done um, all of the Fog Cannon, Canyon Place. Uh, I don't know if he has... I don't think he has any of the... Um, he only has one sword upgrade too, because that's the one I got him got for him, 
and he doesn't have any like optimized charms or anything either he doesn't have like marker pride or anything he did beat manis lords he did all the deep nasty to the fog canyon place he just beat soul tyrant or whatever no not soul tyrant the, the first fight against that guy i can't remember his name soul master he hasn't beat soul tyrant i don't think he's beaten any of the dreamer fights he right now he's currently climbing up to get the third um dreamer guy in city of tears so he has to, to, to fight uh ornstein and smo and smo and ornstein and smo and then I think he's going to try and beat the game. So, he's doing pretty well. How old is he? He's 7 in August. He also beat the Cuphead tutorial first try. I was really proud. He did it right away. When I got the Steam Deck, I, I put Cuphead on and I gave it to him. And he just did it right away. Just, just boom. So, that was fun. Can we play the game? It's Vampire Survivors, and we're just doing, uh, this isn't a really a, a, whatchamacallit, um, did that just make it bigger for you guys? It did, didn't it? Okay, yeah, let's, let's just leave it that way. Uh, this is an audio test stream. Okay, so I played this game quite a lot, because, um, I will play it on my Steam Deck, with the, uh, whatchamacallit turned on, um, experimental lag fix uh because the first day i got the steam deck i tried to play it and it almost cooked the steam deck it was it couldn't run um so but today we're playing it on uh yeah the computer so we'll see um so here's how here's how much i've played it okay so not not as much as some other people um 82 out of 82 uh 74 out of 74 so here's how much i've played it uh how loud is the sound effect Thank you, Lily. You want to say hello to everybody? Hi, everybody. Is this tea or coffee? It's tea. It's tea. That's nice. Thank you. It's not coffee. Oh, it's hot. Thank you. Yeah. I think... So I put everybody upstairs to play or nap. So you should have some quiet for the beginning of stream. I can't promise for after that. Okay. It would be good if they could, if they could come they down. They will come down though. eventually. Yeah. So, yeah. We, so we can do but, the tests. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the girls are napping anyway, so. Okay. So, spoilers for Vampire Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, what should we do? Should we Should we just, like, should I explain how the game works? Okay. So, Vampire Survivors is a, uh, it's advertised as a, you are the bullet hell, but that's completely bullshit. That, that is a very provocative statement. And I think that's one of the reasons why the game has done so well, uh, despite it being as janky as hell, as janky as fuck. Um, uh, but it's it's not really you are the bullet hell. It's more like a just just an idle game with a with a bit of gameplay. Um, at a certain point, uh, depending on how you're playing, it becomes more like you are in a bullet hell, but instead of bullets, it's enemies. Like you have to navigate your your way through a lot of enemies that are spawning. Um, so let's, here's the first character that you unlock, and we're gonna see if, um, we'll turn Hyper off. Oh my god. Alright. That was so loud. That was so loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so loud. Alright, um, let's mess with the audio a bit. All right, so I'm gonna just take it up a little bit until it's it's a nice volume for me. All right, that's good for me, and that's too quiet for you guys, right? Did you just correct hell to, to fuck as not to be redundant? Uh, I don't know for sure, but that sounds like something I would do, yeah. All right, so let's let me boost this by 10 decibels. All right, is that better? That is a good spot. All right, cool. A bit too much, maybe a tiny bit too loud. Really? Okay, I can turn it down a little bit on my end. It's a little too loud for me. All right, that might be better. Let's see. 
do, do. <sighs> All right, what arcana do we want? Uh, this is just a test thing, so I don't really care. Uh, let's just go with this one for now. Okay, so this is the game. Uh, if you've played this, you're going to be really annoyed by how slow I'm moving because I'm not hyper mode. But basically, you have uh, seen, seen the top left there. You have, um, you have stats, but you also have like, I have a whip. Um, you get six weapons and you get six passive things. So I have a whip right now. So that's what's whipping around. Usually it only does one, but I have an upgrade that... Um, that uh, you know what? Actually, let's 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 go and take all of them away. All right, let's go take all the upgrades away. So if I take all refund all my power ups, I have no power ups now. So see this one amount? Uh, sorry, amount. Why did I say that? Oh, it is amount. Uh, fires one more projectile, all weapons. All right. So we take that away and we go back to this one, right? And then I'm gonna put hyper on because I can't play it otherwise. Um. So we only we have one now. Here we go. Here's the whip. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, holy crap. So as we're doing this, we have to collect the um, the gems that they drop, and then you get up, you can get another weapon. You have six weapons, and you have six passives. Um, so let's go with garlic for the meme. So garlic, it, I have um, rings around me now because I stink because of garlic. And now they can't get close to me because it will just kill them. It does. It's like a constant damage aura, okay? Um, I, love I also love garlic, but it's kind of shit. So now you can upgrade the whip, or you can upgrade the garlic, or we can take the cat. Uh, I'm not a weeb, so I'm not taking the cat. So I'm just uh, going to upgrade my garlic. And here we go. So um, I'm actually playing badly right now, because because I have garlic, they can't hit me. So I should just really stand still. And uh, welcome to the proper mode of Vampire Survivors, which is just not moving and just letting everything die. Welcome to the game. This is the game, everybody. This is why I have so many upgrades because after 10 minutes I'm done and I just let the Steam Deck just play while I'm just talking to uh, talking to um, my kids whose names I've forgotten at the moment. Um, yeah, so this this is it. And every so often you just go over and you just get the uh, the gems. Vampire Survivors video. One. Should I should I do a video on Vampire Survivors? Should I do it? Oh man. Oh, this one's a boss. Oh no. Five minutes, you underestimate my power. All right, uh, I really like the fire wand because fire wand upgrades with spinach. Oh, look at the fireballs. Oh, my fireballs. All right, so now it drops the chest. All right, so chests um, are very important, but right now at this stage in the game, it's just gonna give us like free upgrades. So we skip because we're not Northern Lion. All right, so we have, we got some gold there, 149 gold, and also we got a whip upgrade. So it's like a free level, sort of. Now you'll notice that these zombies have enough health that I can't kill them with one shot of the garlic, which means I have to actually play the game. This is very unideal. We, we don't want to be, it's unideal a word. We don't want to ever be in this position where we actually have to play the game. Um, so we have to crank our damage as soon as possible so we don't have to move anymore. It's very inefficient right now. All right, so knife, empty tomb, or bracer. Now, I like empty tomb because it reduces the weapon cooldown by 8%, as you can see on the screen. Um, and it also pairs with magic wand, which is not a bad um, not a bad weapon. We'll see. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. How many hours have you played survivors? At least 300. At least 300. Now, I think it's about... Um, it's really hard to tell because a lot of that is just me. Like, I just leave the scene deck on and I walk away. Um... Like actively sitting there playing it, I'm gonna say around 20 maybe. I was on the Vampire Survivor stream pretty early though, because of, because of Woogie. Woogie got me on this. All right, let's get the... Ooh, do we want Spellbinder increases duration of weapon effects by 10%? That's what it says, right? Do we want that one? I think we do. Spellbinder goes with King King Bible. That's pretty good. Let's get that one. Isn't this game a ripoff of mobile game Magic Survival? I have no idea. I do know that there was some controversy involving the art being ripped off Castlevania sprites, but apparently that was because it came from a... <clears throat> now, now, keep in mind, everything I'm saying right now 
I'm paraphrasing between two Redditors, all right? So it's kind of like that, those AI conversation memes. So you have to understand that, like, I have I have no idea if any of this is true, okay? That apparently, like, a lot of this is ripped off Castlevania sprite art. And then the other monotone AI comes along and goes, no, actually, it was from a sprite pack that the developer bought that that ripped off the Castlevania sprite art, and they didn't know that, and they used that thinking that it was fine, but it was actually the person who made the sprite art that made the sprite pack that ripped it off, not the developers themselves. And since then, they have updated the art and changed it so it's no longer a, a ripoff. I have no idea if that's if that's true, but that's what I heard. I also know that some of the splash art on the game looks eerily like some Bayonetta art. Um, and then the absolute chads that they are after after that was uh, revealed put Bayonetta in the game. So like I I just I don't understand how this is even allowed, but somehow we're in the Vampire Survivors universe where this is game of the year for so many people. Um, like I I have no idea. I don't even know what could happen next. Like seriously. Use Reddit. Of course I use Reddit all the time. Got to keep my fingers on the pulse of the of the people. All right, here we go. Spinach, nice. Better than Elden Ring? For some people, unironically, yes. I'm not kidding. For some people, Vampire Survivors will be their game of the year because this is the game they're going to spend time with when they want to relax and just have this casual experience. I'm not kidding. For some people, this will actually be game of the year. All right, do we want the axe? Oh, we can't reroll. Oh, we have to pick one. I think axe is better than... Um Axe is better than knife or a tractor. If we go tractor, we have to get Santa water. Uh, knife is just the worst one in the whole entire game. Um, Axe is not that bad. Santa water is pretty good though. Mm -hmm. I'm going Axe. I love the back seating going on in chat right now. I love it. I told you it would happen. You know who you are if you're listening. I told you it would happen. For Axe, you need Candelabra, right? A fellow vampire survivor in the chat I see. The vampire survivor has locked up. <laughs> oh, we got a three. Yeah. <laughs> Go no, why? I don't want to, I don't want any of these. I can just get them myself. Who cares? It's not important. <laughs> so in my experience, you can't get more than one Evolve even if it's on a multi-chest. Has anyone in, in the chat ever gotten more than one Evolve in a multi-chest? It's never happened to me. And you can only get Evolves after a certain point. So here's a boss part. Only one? Yeah, that's what I think too. All right. So when I played this game, I don't think they had any... No, did they have evolutions when I played? They must have. I think I think I came in after some of the first set of evolutions. All right, let's get it. I think I didn't know about the evolutions is when, is what, where it was. It was at least, at least two months ago, maybe even three months ago. I can't remember when I started playing this game. I have to go back through, uh, um, my uh, my sexy DMs with Wuggy and see. Oh, we got some chicken. Remember when we were just gonna talk and now I'm actually just playing the game? This is great. This game is still in early access, right? Yes, and that will be that will be true and uh, for years. Nah, I'm not ragging on Vampire Survivors. I'm ragging on early access format. This is a better game than Lost Ark. I have not played Lost Ark, but I agree. All right, duplicate, oh no, do we want the duplicator? Okay, so here's the thing, we're capped out, so now we can't evolve, if we take the duplicator, we can't evolve all of our shit. And this is a really big flaw of the game, okay? Really big flaw of the game. All right, so what would we not evolve? Evolved Whip is kind of shit. Evolved King Bible is kind of not worth it sometimes because if you get your cooldown low enough, it's, it's um you don't really need it anymore. Um, I don't think we need Evolved Whip. Let's go Duplicator. You can Evolve Whip. E oh, I died! Oh, never mind. You can Evolve... <laughs> you can Evolve the Whip even with, um, uh, full passes? What do you mean? Don't you need Hollow Heart for Evolved Whip? Uh, 
I was looking at chat. So, see, if you don't know what we're talking about because you have not survived a vampire yourself, uh, in the top left, we have a whip, balls, fire wand, a book, a wand, and an axe. So, the book in the bottom left there, the red book below the whip, you would think that would match with the other book, but it actually matches. It actually goes in the square hole. It actually matches with the blue wand. So the, if you have those two and you get the weapon to max level, you have a chance when you open a chest that these two, these two will synergize and make a better version of the weapon, okay? So that's what we have. And the fire wand and spinach, which is the green leaf go together, and the spellbinder thing, which is the kind of weird orange cross kind of thing next to the book in the bottom row, matches with the King Bible, which is the blue book on the top. The thing is the duplicator, which is the kind of like the ring that we have, um, doesn't goes with the lightning ring and we don't have the lightning ring but now we're capped we don't have any we don't have any um any more weapon slots um so for the axe we need um the one that increases range candelabra or whatever and for the whip we need hollow heart but we're not getting that and for the garlic we need um pull whatever which we can get from the south but we're not going there jesse what the fuck are you talking about i agree i agree 1600 people are watching this yep Vampire Survivors is really popular. What are you talking about? Where have you been? It's Vampire Survivors year. Jeff Keighley will say this at at the Game, uh, uh, Game Awards this year at some point. The Vampire Survivors will leave his mouth. It's the year of Vampire Survivors. This is the Fortnite of 2022. Where are we dropping? Said every single Vampire Survivors person ever. Elden who exactly? Uh, let's go with Empty Tomb. Because the vampire is out prowling about. That tomb is empty. Do, 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 do. Oh, follow-up question for someone who asked the other stream uh, who my favorite philosopher was. I thought about it, and I remembered I actually do have an answer. Um, my favorite philosopher is, is a very uh, contemporary philosopher, actually, and he's, he's fairly um, not well-known yet. Um, he has a kind of a weird name. His name is Diorce. Um, if you haven't heard of him, I highly recommend um, Diorce. Um, so I'm very, very... Uh, sorry that I didn't say that last time. I said Descartes instead because I was getting Descartes before the Ors. Um, I forgot all about that. So yeah, there's the, the real answer to the question. Sorry. <laughs> all right, magic wand. So we're approaching the big um, difficulty spike soon. We might not get through it because we don't have any upgrades. I'm not kidding. Uh, 10 minutes on this map uh, afterwards is the first big difficulty spike. If you download this game after, oh wow. Wow, lucky. If uh, you um, if you download this game, which you will, after you're done watching me, you will. Um, like, don't kid yourself, you will. If this game costs $3. You will be playing this later on your own by tonight. Um, you will get to this level and you like this first level you will get to the past 10 minutes and you will get to the the werewolf ghost spam section and you will probably die so good luck i already have it exactly it's vampire survivors year wait are you so are you surviving the vampires or are you a vampire whom's to survive it you know what i don't know you, for the, for a long time, I thought that at the end of the level, it was a vampire that came and killed you, but it's not. It's death. So I don't know. But when the boys watch me play this, they think it's a vampire, and they always and they always want to know exactly when the vampire is going to to come and kill me. It's the most favorite part of the game for them. 
So I don't know if you're like the bats seem to be vampire bats, but like the rest of them are zombies and skeletons and shit. So like I don't know. So is Rykar a perfect gimmick fight? I don't I don't know who that is. I haven't gotten to that one in uh, in Vampire Survivors. Isn't it Alucard? Vampire is a weird word. I agree. Alright, we don't really have that much damage. This is not going well for us. We might not survive this vampire. Normally I'm level 45 by now. I reset all my upgrades, by the way, if you're just tuning in and you are a vampire survivor veteran. Alright, do we want to get this chest? Yeah, we do. Oh, that's a that's a, a bad get. All right, let's get garlic. Oh, here we go. It's starting. All right, does our garlic kill these in one hit? Yeah, it seems like it. All right, we might be okay. We might just make it. All right, we want Pomerola. Fire ones. Fire wand. We desperately want something that gets a level 8 at this, at this point to get an evolution. The evolutions are uh, a big deal. Any health? Yes. Uh, uh, we, we're not evolving the whip though. Magic wand. So, so far the audio is okay. So does that mean it's fixed or does that mean it's Hollow Knight? It seemed to be when it was like a loud sound, like when I got hit for two masks of damage and it did like a boom. Like that's, it's, it felt like that was what was causing it, but maybe it was just coincidence. You have Hollow Heart? I do have Hollow Heart. What did I not take then? What am I missing? Is it King Bible? Man, I start to stream it. I just forget how to play. Candelabra. Ah, oh, you're right. I don't have the one for Candelabra. Ah, uh, I don't have the I don't have the one for the axe. That sucks. Oh well. All right, here comes the werewolves and the ghosts. So see what I mean by it's like it's a bullet hell made of enemies where you have to just kind of like sometimes if they overwhelm you it's it's like they make a maze and you have to like slip through the crystal maze. Except instead of crystals, it's, um, idling enemies. Oh, we have two chests now. This is going so well. This is some high-level vampire survivor strategy you're seeing right now. You won't get this out of most streamers. Especially on their first stream of the game ever. Alright, we got a fire wand. Alright, let's go. Give me a skull. Yes! Alright, we got it. Now, now our fireball, see? Now our fire wand has become a fire skull, okay? And that's because we had spinach. So fire wand plus spinach, when you get the fire wand to max level, turns into fire skull. So instead of fire balls, we're gonna be shooting even bigger fireballs. Ready? There they are. Look how big they are. Also, they pierce. So let's just like, like we've won at this point, basically. We've won. Like we're, we're unstoppable. We're, we're not actually unstoppable. We need like maybe one or two more evolutions and then we're unstoppable. I'm pretty sure with, with power power ups, I've beaten this whole level just with King Bible. Oh, we're, we're screwed. All right, this is the end. This is the power, this is the spike. All right, whip. Whip me. What? <laughs> I think we have like two more revives, don't we? We have yeah, two two more revives from the Arcana. All right, we're good.
we might need them. Man, this is fine. Give me the red gem. All right, whip. All right, cool, 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 cool. Whip me, whip me. All right, here we go. Upgraded whip. Here we go. Shit. All right, it's an upgraded arcana. Okay, I think we want the uh, the one that gives us more healing, which is that one. All right, do we want that one or this one? Explodes. Oh, that's a tough one. We can get both of them. I think we want the healing. All right, garlic. Did we just make a mistake, chat? All right, this should be the whip. Ooh. All right, we got it. Now our whip is red, which is how I like it. All right, magic wand. All right, so now we're getting healing whenever we hit with the whip. See, see our health going up? It's really good. Unfortunately, it's still focused like upwards above you. So it's like, it's still not that great. The whip is not my favorite at all. This is not my usual playstyle. The healing is actually insane. We talk yeah, but you have to like move, and I don't want to move. I don't want to play a game when I'm playing the game. I just, I just want to stand and let them come to me, and they just die before they get to me. Just run into my King Bible orbit and die like that. All right, here we go. We got the. Uh we got the upgraded wand now, which just never stops firing. Which you can get there pretty much with just cooldown reduction anyway. But yeah, it just never stops firing. Alright, King Bible. Bible me. Alright, there's a big werewolf. Kind of looks like a rat man, doesn't it? Is this a, a controller game or a keyboard and mouse game? I'm playing with a controller because um, I'm old and I like to use the keyboard and mouse as, as uh, the least amount as possible because it kind of hurts my fingers a bit now. Um, but I think you could play it with a keyboard and mouse just fine. But whenever I can use the gamepad, I, I use the gamepad now. I actually am having some problems with my hands for real. And that uh, trying to make a focused effort to use the gamepad more has, has helped. All right, I think we can get upgraded garlic. Yeah, we can. All right. There we go. Our balls have become a sack. All right, here we go. So now it's changed, and now it heals you. Now, there was some talk that the more it heals, the more damage it does, but I don't really understand that. So, I don't know. I think it's if you have low health, it does more damage or some shit. I don't know. This game is a bit ridiculous. Oh yeah, how is the stream? Is it going okay? It's fine, that's good. A bit of green, it is very green, you're right. Super Auto Pets one, that would be a good stream. I don't know how to play Super Auto Pets. Thoughts on the broken gun weapons? Uh, I just found out today that you get more laser beams for how many revives you get, so I don't know. Like, my, I wanted to purposefully die to get all the bonuses from dying from the revives you get from the Arcana, and then as I died, I lost more and more laser beams, and I was pretty, uh, pretty upset about that. All right, so we just leveled up a lot because uh, the game combines gems, experience gems, the, the more you have on the screen. So every so often you're going to find one, and it, it's like finding the best easter egg, and you'll just level up a million times. Not a bad mechanic, actually. Super auto pets would be fun. I don't think it would be. I don't think I would like super auto pets. Do, 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 do. 
I'm upset that we don't have the increased area of effect. That's like, oh, this, th okay, this one's good. So this one will draw in all experience on the map that you've missed. So sometimes you'll get into these positions where you're just desperately, oh, that, okay, well, that was very lackluster. Uh, sometimes you'll get into these positions where you're like desperately looking for one of the, wait, what, why didn't it draw that one? Fireball must have killed it. Um, you're desperately looking for one of these because you haven't gotten, because you've been running across the map for the past five minutes and they just won't spawn. The game knows. Hey Joe, how many NFTs did you buy? Cause FOMO? None. I'm NFT-less. I don't think they're very nifty. Maidenless? Very maidenless. Is this Calcivania made by Cookie Clicker? It is very Cookie Clicker-ish, I agree. Okay, do we want that? Uh, King Bible, we wanna get King Bible at first and then we'll, we'll grab that chest. But it might be another Arcana actually. I'm calling it, it's an Arcana. I've never been more wrong. Audio test stream three is my favorite stream. Yeah, it's pretty. Oh, it's Top Lolly. How's it going, Top Lolly? Do you need to get tucked into bed? Tuck Top Lolly into bed. Aw. Imagine being so famous on the stream that the streamer knows you, is excited that you're back, and yet you're also banned from the Discord. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Just an amazing position that Top Lolly has put himself in, seriously. <laughs> Mod top lolly, make mo <laughs> there's a Twitch mod that's banned from the Discord. Oh man, all right, so there's a big mummy here. All right, our damage is kind of not doing it well for us, I, got, I can't lie. Or maybe it's because the bats are pushing everything into us. I don't know. When does level end? At 30 minutes. Although you can go further than that if, um, you have a clock lancet. All right, can we get this? No, it's gonna be our Narcana. God damn it. God damn it. Bad plays all over the place. Uh, Top Lolly was banned uh, in kind of the way of like, you know that meme, um, stab victim moments before stabbing it was heard to be saying what are you gonna do stab me that that's kind of what happened like what are you gonna do ban me and and then yeah like yeah not not a good situation but yeah Do, 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 do. So we stream again? Maybe. We'll, if the audio test is fine this stream, we might actually play Resident Evil starting tomorrow or sometime during the week. Alright, this should give us um, upgraded King Bible. Okay, do we want that one? Uh, we don't really have much that goes with that. Uh, let's go with uh, Heart of Fire. Great vegetables. So 
Someone made a post on the subreddit today saying that now that Joe doesn't have the Patreon anymore, maybe it can be a blank state fresh start for him on stream. That he won't have to keep doing, he won't have to keep pandering to the weebs, doing the Yusuke bit, and um, making not so ironic references to streams from four years ago. And I'm reading it and I'm like, yeah, ironic, yeah, a bit, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we have upgraded King Bible, which is possibly... It's not the best, but it's up there. I think it's top five of uh, evolutions. Like I said, I, I did a run um, the other day, which was just upgraded King Bible, Clock Lancet, and Laurel. Um, and and as, and six passives. I was I gave myself a lot of passives, and I got to the end. Um, I think at the at, uh, at the last like couple minutes though, I I will have to admit I did like, level up into I had to take another weapon, and I think it was like I picked lightning ring or something like that, which isn't a very good one. So it wasn't exactly a pure kind of thing, but um, I was able to get to almost the end with just one weapon. You mean Yanny? Yeah, Yanny, Yanny, yeah. So we're fully upgraded now, apart from the axe. Lightning Ring is amazing. I didn't upgrade it. I, is it amazing? I don't. I never had that much success with an upgrade Lightning Ring. First time viewer on stream. Love your videos, man. Also very EU friendly. Oh, you're right. You you have the first time chat from viewer above your name. You're right. Well done. Glad you like them. I'm a really bad streamer, so. You just gotta, gotta, you know, groove with it. Lightning loop is always top DPS for you. Really? My top DPS are usually Gorgeous Moon or Santa Water upgraded, although I think they nerfed that. Or the, um, the guns. I generally set a goal of hitting 170 plus per run instead of just arriving, says first time chat from viewer. Eric is God. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten to 170. Maybe once? I got really high one time. So as you get higher in the level, uh, there's a lot of hidden systems and mechanics in this game. Uh, the higher your level, the more damage, uh, sorry, the more health the enemies have. I'm not sure if they do deal more damage to you. I don't think so. I'm a win I am winning, yep. I just want you to know that I have your Chug Jug covers in my iTunes. I have more than one? Oh, the Steinsgate version, yeah. That's terrifying. Do they just randomly play one time? Rune Tracer is up there for you, Evolve. Yeah, but it takes armor. This is, I don't like this about the game, is that some of the evolutions require you to take shitty passives. So that's why I, I almost always end up with the axe upgraded, even though I didn't this time, because Candelabra is just one of the best things in the game. Armor is actually really good. Okay, maybe if you get hit, but I'm not getting hit. Like, if you're bad, maybe. <laughs> You've done. Well, I was talking to chat! Oh man, no, no, uh, Penta chest. <laughs> oh, we took chicken. Oh no, ruined. Oof, no axe upgrade. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassed about it. I rather would have skipped the whip upgrade. Like, you can barely even see the whip effect and the mess that's going on. Like, like it doesn't even hit anything. Alright, I'm looking at chat. Ask your questions. Certain game had a DLC. There it is, right away. Yeah, cross code. We're going to play it at some point. Any examples of a masterpiece without a qualifier? Nah, I don't think so. Everything's gonna have a qualifier. Outer Wilds. There you go. 
Can you go get the clover? Why? Which clover? That clover to the left? Isn't that the upgrade, the passive upgrade clover? You, they, I can't pick them up. I'm full. Did you miss streaming, Joe? No. You can? You can overcharge? No, you can't. What? You cannot. You cannot. You can't. I don't believe you. You can't. You can't. This is uh, this is bait. I'm gonna get there. It's not gonna let me. And and people in chat are gonna be like, Lamayo got him. Can't believe he fell for it. He believed us. We made him walk all the way over there. Should we turn on the lag machine? There we go. The Steam Deck hates having this uh, these arrows turned on. Joe, would you recommend Australian Shepherds as dogs? Yeah, they're pretty good dogs. Lily's Australian Shepherd was really dumb, but, you know, she, uh... She grew up eventually. Even Lily will admit that dog is dumb, okay? Just like Yoshi is really dumb. Yoshi's super dumb. Alright, which one's closest? This one. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. I'm turning it off, alright? Get your Lamayo Gotems ready. All right, get. What? Does that work with all of them? Or just this one? All right, if I level up now, will I be able to, to upgrade it? Wow, this changes everything. I was told that you couldn't do that anymore. I never did it. When I found out that you could do that, it was because they had changed it. Did they revert it back? Anymore? From from the, the, the favorite stream artist formerly known as Wuggy. They never changed that? Interesting. Wuggy lied, maidens died. Five bit rate, is it bad? I'm on 480p. How bad is it? Let me see. I want to see. Oh, it's not that bad. Like, it's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Like, it's watchable. Alright, so here's the vampire. He looks a lot like death. Apparently you can kill him, but I've never done it. Do, 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 do. 
actual vampire. Wait, what? Okay, there you go. Hellfire was our number one. There you go. All right, so that's Vampire Survivors, game of the year. All right, so now let's buy all of our power-ups. Now, the game's kind of jank in that there's a preferred way to buy them all. You buy the most expensive ones first. However, curse makes it hard. I'm too scared to, to cap out my curse right away. Um, the vampire did not survive. That's true. Do, do, do. He gains max XP, but you're almost supposed to stay at like level 2 to be able to kill him. Um, yeah, don't you do that with like getting into a corner where nothing can get you in the library level or something like that? Wait, why did you refund the power? So to give people a first, like, like I beat the game on my first try, please ignore the fact that I have Ar Arcanas and all the weapons unlocked experience. Yeah. No, it's just to show people how the game looks when you first play it, that's all. Uh, let's go reroll. What's the ne next expensive one? Revival, growth, amount, uh, that one's 1800. There's some like weird way of doing this where it, it's like some of the prices don't go up and other ones do. Let's do 750s now. Oh, that one's expensive. Oh man, we, we messed it up again, didn't we? We messed it up already. All right, let's do might, max health, recovery. All right, can we get can we get greed up? Skips, banish. All right, we did it. We did it. All right, and now we have curse. All right, so let's let's do a bayonetta run. This is literally bayonetta. What level do we want to do? I don't want to show the fourth level because you know spoilers. Should we go to the dairy plant or the inlaid library? I want to see rage and super auto pets that upon. I would never rage on stream. What are you talking about? This is never gonna happen. Dairy plant. All right, let's go dairy plant. All right, what are the best arcanas for bayonetta? What are we going to do? Um. Probably awake is best because we have we're gonna get the whatever right. We're gonna get the upgraded um, guns. Oh, should we? Let's gamble on birds. I'm doing it. I'm do I'm taking the the bird gambit. I believe. Bird gambit. Uh, I like Magic Wand because then we can get the book. Magic Wand is a favorite. Gar I'm not taking garlic. Garlic sucks. I enjoy a garlic by... Okay, do we want King Bible or do we want Santa Water? Oh, man. Or do we, do we banish Stone Mask? Santa Water... Yeah, but we need, we need a bird. All right, we'll go water. And then we get Orb. Orb is one of the best quality, quality of life upgrades there is. I do enjoy water. It's a bit better with uh, extra projectiles though. All right, spinach. Spinach me? No. Wing me? No. Let's keep upgrading the guns. How triggered were some of you that I didn't pick up that green gem until then? Don't forget you now get passives from the map. What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, track door right away. Let's go. Wait, so shouldn't I just not get these on purpose and then pick them up at the end afterwards? So I shouldn't have picked up a track door there, right? That was a waste. Wow. Ruined. Should I restart? Okay, so armor, wings, and candelabro. All right, we never want those. It doesn't... What do you mean? I, I've missed the slot. I kind of want spinach. But I'm afraid. I'm taking spinach. I've done it. Spinach goaded in-game and goaded out of game. Finish is always good. True, true. All 
Not 100% optimized run, might as well restart. Restart, exactly, that's the, the World of Warcraft curse. The poison of the mind. The way gamers look at the world. I've made mistakes, therefore I must give up. Wow, Cherry Bomb without being Panda. That's rare. I like Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb's really good. Alright, it's not looking good for the Bird Gambit. It's also looking pretty good for the audio, though, but um, I'm starting to think we're just going to have to play Hollow Knight again. And see if it was Hollow Knight that was causing it. Like, that's the only game where it happened, right? So we're going to have to play more Hollow Knight. What a curse, right? It is year two of playing Hollow Knight to see if they can get the audio problem to happen. Every single stream ends with, I just, I just don't know, I just, I'm afraid to start another game. What if, what if we, it crashes? Okay, we can't get fire wand because we need the bird. Oh, this this is where it gets dicey, man. Where you're holding out for a bird. I've gone like 30 levels without getting the bird once when I needed it. Just skips and banishes and just getting upgrades and shit and no Oh Tiramisu! Nice. That's a good get. Alright, do we want the chest? It can't be an upgrade, uh, an evolution yet. Let's get the chest. It's gonna be a three. One day I'll be right. One day I'll be right. Alright, let's get the bird so the other bird knows that it's welcome. You can evolve weapons before 10 minutes on this map. I don't believe you. Chat's been right once about picking shit up. And that's, like, chat is, is right once per stream. I don't believe you. It's true. I'm just doubting you even more. Remember when you all thought that the Elden Ring video was real on April Fool's? It's hilarious. Classic prank. He joked about making a video and then had to make it. That's not what happened. Could you imagine if that's what happened, though? Imagine me sitting there on April Fools, like just just put the the, the fake preview up, just laughing, just like ha ha these, these 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 chuckle fucks think this is actually a video, ha ha ha, and they're like, wow, I'd really like to watch this. Wow, you this better be a video now that you've done this. You couldn't tease us like that, and I'm just like progressively getting more upset and sweating, just <laughs> like oh no. That is not what happened, though. You should have known that the video was real, though. Like, I, like, what kind of asshole would I have could would I have been if I teased that and then didn't have a video at the end? People think I would keep a little of that. Like, no way. Fair. Yes! Pay out the believers. Pay them out. Opinions on Ruiner. Um, I played that a long time ago. I thought it was okay. A bit short. It's one of the, one of those games that um, it's not fair really to criticize a lot of uh, smaller scale indie games for that because it just feels like it's it's it finishes right when it's getting started. I guess it just doesn't broadcast the amount of content to you well enough. That sort of thing. But it was it was decent. It was fun.
You can upgrade weapons for 10 minutes. I, I'm testing it. I'm waiting to get uh, my guns up, and then we're going to grab that chest, and we're going to find out. Might be a historic moment here. Will chat be right twice in one stream? Have I played the Bioshock games, and do I have any quick thoughts on them? Um, Infinite is my favorite, but... Don't take that as, like, I love them all and somehow Infinite is my favorite, because that's not what that means. Uh, I just like the gameplay in Infinite more than the others. I don't really like Bioshock uh, 1 or 2 all that much. I much prefer Prey. Um, I played Bioshock 1 when it first came out, and I was very excited for it, and I remember watching the trailers. Uh, the CGI, CGI trailer of that is one of, the, one of my favorites, where... What happens at the end from the first person perspective when he looks down you know what i'm talking about i don't want to spoil it because someone might not have seen that and they can go and enjoy that trailer it's a really cool moment um but like i the gameplay trailer of that game led me to believe that it was going to be kind of like a little bit like how prey is right now where it was going to be like this um this evolving like ecosystem of a world where all the different kind of enemies and are going to interact with each other even when you're not around like this has become like a, a living, breathing place where, like, the monsters will run around and, and hear, hear the little sisters, and and uh, and they may get ambushed by another enemy, and they're gonna fight, and you you can just go from place to place and and figure stuff out. And uh, that's not what it was at all. It was it was much more of a traditional kind of level experience with enemies just spawning and you killing them. Um, it wasn't exactly like Doom, Doom or anything like that, but I was pretty disappointed in Bioshock One. Uh, I also didn't love the story all that much. Like, it was fine, but it was like, eh, like. It didn't really resonate with me. That that scene in the middle was really cool, but yeah, not my favorite game. I don't dislike it, but I like it. Uh, I don't love it. All right, let's see. Can we upgrade it? Wow. All right. Chat was right twice in one stream. It's the first time it's happened. It's the first time it's happened. I kind of just want to stop the stream now. It's all downhill from here. Uh, so Infinite has a lot of problems too, I, but I really like the world of- oh sorry, I just said the mic. I really like the world of Infinite, and Infinite gave me this really cool moment where um, I was listening to some of the, the, the music, the diegetic music in the game, um, that's actually playing from like speakers in the game that other characters in the game can hear too, not, not the game music that only you can hear. Um, and I noticed at some point that it sounded like remixes of real our world music, and that really kind of made me like go, what? And that kind of mystery and then that being resolved later on in the game was a really cool moment for me and I really remember Infinite fondly for that kind of uh, experience that I had. So like, I, I really liked that. That was one of my favorite parts of, of that game. I also really liked the Sky Rails and I thought the combat was actually decent, but when I went and play, played it back again recently, I didn't like it all that much. So maybe it's like a Dark Souls 2 situation where you kind of have to mesh with it for a little bit and then it becomes better. But, but if you go and try and like drop in and play Infinite, it doesn't go very well. Um, the story was all right. Uh, I, I liked the two characters that are jumping around, kind of like, it's almost like a Shakespeare play, like, uh, kind of like um, Ornstein and Smo from Hamlet. Um, I really like those two characters. Uh, and I felt like it wasn't too bad. Like, a lot of people shit on Infinite Story, but it's all right. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. Definitely a flawed game. Do we want the fire wand to go with our spinach? Yes. Do, do, do. Smo and Ornstein are dead? Yes. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. There you go. That totally was not me having forgotten what they were that what they were called and needed like a good solid minute to access the recesses of my brain and figure and remember it. That was just me making a joke. All right, do we want Candelabrador? I, no, we can go pick it up. Did I ever play Deathloop? I did not play Deathloop. Should I stream it? Would that be a good stream game? I've heard mixed things. It's okay. Didn't it win Game of the Year for some people?
I swear to God, I have this reputation for being like this huge stick in the mud that hates all games because my, my videos are usually critical, but my chat and community is just like the, s sitting there in the Elden Ring chat playing Elden Ring and the amount of people that were just relentlessly shitting on the game, whereas I'm, sh I'm sitting there like, well, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> Do, do, do. Just play Prey Moon, Moon Crash is way better. We streamed that already, but we didn't finish it. Moon Crash is pretty cool. This seems really loud to me. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. There we go. Some people eat quinoa unironically. I think I had quinoa for recently for the first time. For the first time recently. And it was alright. It was kinda like it's kinda like chunky rice, right? Quinoa? I don't know what wa is, and I don't know why I should be keen on it. No. Quinoa is nothing like right. Okay, it's a, it's a different thing I had then. Oh, I kind of want crown, and then we get gorgeous moon. Cause gorgeous moon, you you can just AFK. Ooh, I kind of want crown. I'm taking crown. How do you pronounce phalanx, Joe? Phalanx. Phalanx-a-lanx? Oh, I forgot to tell Lily! Oh, shit, I need to tell Lily, um, that I'm a mutant. Shit, I have to tell her. Uh, I found out in, in, in chat, in Jad's the other night. Um, Lily, Lily fed me something for the first time. It was, uh... God damn it, what was it? And I was like, this tastes like perfume. Cilantro, thank you, cilantro. She, she fed me cilantro. Uh, she made a meal with, with I, I'm saying it like that because it's funny. She made a meal with cilantro in it. And it was like a stew and I was eating it and I was like, this, this, whatever this is, is ruining it for me, I'm sorry. And she's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, and she's like, it's a very, it's a very potent flavor. And like, I, I, it tastes like perfume to me. Like it was just like awful. It just dominated the whole entire like palate of the meal. Um, I don't know why I said palate, like, like I'm a food critic or anything. Um, but yeah, it's, and then I'm reading on Jad's and apparently this, like, if you have like this specific gene, it makes cilantro taste like soap, which is why I think the perfume taste is coming from me. Like I just, it, it is kind of soapy. Um, so I'm a mutant. I'm a witcher. I wanted to tell Lily, I forgot. All right, we can get some upgrades now. But oh, for fucks, all right. What do we want? We're getting the fire one, right? I don't like these ones where it goes between fifty minus fifty and plus two hundred. I don't. I want consistency. I'm going for that one. Nice. Any chance you'd revisit Ring World on stream? Yeah, maybe at some point. I've never played it on stream before, but maybe I could stream it and see how it goes. I just worry that I'm not gonna like it all that much right away. And people in chat are gonna backseat real hard and they're gonna tell me, no, go here, do this. Here's this here's this secret jump technique that you learn 50 hours in that we're gonna teach you right now because we're upset that you're not enjoying our favorite game. Like like that sort of thing. Um so like I wouldn't I wouldn't want that though. I'd want the the actual proper rain world experience. Like if I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play it. Uh what do I want? Nothing. I'm gonna leave this for now. I'm gonna go get the attract orb. That's what I'm gonna do. Do you get progressively more wrong every time you say I've never been more wrong? No, like being wrong is, is binary. You're either wrong or you're right. You know? Like you can be more right, but you can't be more wrong. Like you're wrong or you're right, man. So I've never been more wrong. Every, every single time you're wrong, you've never been more wrong. 
All right. I think I said too much, though. That's one of my favorite things to say. I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that even before I streamed. That's like a that's a Joe original. Um, I don't know why I said it that way, but yeah, I uh, I probably said it too much. It's my favorite Joeism. Is it really? I think one of my favorites is inquiring exes want to know. What is in this chest? Inquiring data pawns want to know. Here we go. Yes. Are you going to play the next FromSoft game? Almost certainly, yeah, but if it's like Dark Souls or Elden Ring, I'm not going to be that enthused about it. It seems like they're taking that series in a really bad direction. Thoughts on damage number pop-ups? Generally, I don't like them, and I don't really feel like they fit in this game either. It feels like an, a lot of added clutter for not really that much gain. Like, do I really need to know how much damage my shit is doing in this game? Like, I don't think so. Can I turn them off? Shit. Alright, there we go. The things you learn on stream. You don't understand, man. I just live with shit, okay? I just live with shit. I'm pretty sure I broke a toe once. And I just... Just let it heal. <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think I think I would be in too much agony. And also, if I broke my toe, broke my toe, I, I I couldn't be a part of um, Never Broke a Bone subreddit. They would um, ostracize me. Ostracize for osteoporosis. Osteos. Do they actually call it osteosize? Because that's pretty funny. I, I only know of that subreddit. I've never been there myself, apart from like one time to see the top post. Broken or fractured. Oh, nice meme. Nice meme. Okay, what do we want? What are we getting after this? After this, we're getting um, Gorgeous Moon. So we can get Duplicator, right? Because we already have the crown for Gorgeous Moon. But is Duplicator even good for us? Does Duplicator duplicate your um, your lasers? Um. All right. Apparently it does. All right. More XP. Okay, now we want to go down to the wings. Wings are the first ones to get because then we can get to the other ones faster. Let's turn on the guides. I hate this map. Too many things in your way. The new map is the best one. I can't believe I didn't know this. Alright, should we go down to the other one first? Or should we go up? Okay, we're kind of like equidistant from these two, right? No, we're... According to my th finger and thumb, we are closer to the Candelabro. Let's go that way. So you play on the Steam Deck often, are you enjoying it? Um, so I'm a bit mixed on the Steam Deck. I find it really hard to play any kind of big 3D game on it. I tried to play Elden Ring, I tried to play Sekiro on it. Um, I think those are the only big games I tried. And there's just something about like the inconsistent frame rate or just the way that it feels to play those kind of games on a handheld that I just... I'm not, I'm not meshing with it well. I'm not vibing with it well. 
Uh, Sekiro does run way better than Elden Ring on it, though, I have to say. All right, what do we want? We want, um, uh, Gorgeous Moon. I can't remember what that's called. It'll show up. But as an indie machine, it's pretty good. I like playing small little games on it, like this one. Uh, I played a, I tried the, a new game that came out called Core Keeper, because I thought the boys would like that, but I don't think it has enough content yet. Um, I played Tunic on the Steam Deck a fair amount. And even Tunic was pushing it a bit too hard. But it's been pretty good for hanging out with the boys because they have their Switches and they broke my Switch. So now I have the Steam Deck, which is Daddy's Switch. And they're not allowed to play it even though they have a couple times now. But, yeah. Okay, let's go up to the armor. What are your thoughts on Cuphead? Uh, Cuphead's pretty good. I like it. It's not my favorite game, but it's pretty fun. It's gorgeous. It's visually very striking. What? They broke their... Oh, yeah. We go through, like, a, a switcher year here. You have no idea. Nintendo loves me. Still not... Still haven't spent as much money on Switches for everyone as, um... N Nintendo prevented me from getting from the Breath of the Wild ads. Thank you so much, Nintendo. Gonna be forever salty, boot that. What if I get an Attract Orb when I already have a max level Attract Orb? Wow, we're zooming. It goes to level, but level 6, but it has no bonuses. I don't believe you. There's no way chat could be right this many times in a row. Is this just chat is right today? Because, like, I, if so, like, we can answer a lot of mysteries of the universe. What happens when you die, chat? Some pretty big persona vibes, I think, from the music. Right? Like, I'm not even kidding. These are pers some persona vibes, right? Yes. Knowing this game, it might actually be from the persona soundtrack. Plus two? Do I get a plus two? Minus two. What are the rules of plus two and minus two? Is it just the first person who says it gets to determine? Or is it the more people that say plus two, the higher the plus two stacks? Or, or what? Like, is it compound plus twoing? Or... The more people. Level six. Ah, it stays level five. All right, now we just don't move. Actually, I need to level up um, the pentagram. Shit. Yeah, pentagram sucks because it can erase items, including chests and bosses. How's the bitrate going? I'm currently playing The Witcher 2 and I'm play, planning on replaying Witcher 3. Should I read the books before playing Witcher 3? If you if you want to, if you love The Witcher stuff, then sure, go for it. I would say watch the show, but the show is completely different, so that's not really going to get you there. But like, if you love that shit, then go for it. It, it'll, it is kind of like learning another language. Um, and seeing a bunch of like stuff that you never knew were there. All the references and stuff. I say that in The Witcher 3 video. There you go, there's a leak. On page 9, I think? Pretty early on. Page 9, I say that? Uh, this should give me upgraded... This should give me Gorgeous Moon. Yes.
Alright, so this is ultimate lazy mode. I don't need to move anymore. All the gems will come to me. Do, 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 do. Thoughts on shumps? Um, or shmups? I don't think I've played a shmup enough to... to say. Does Gradius 3 for the Super Nintendo count as a shmup, or does a shmup have to be moving from the bottom to the top? Can you have a, can you have a sideways shmup? This is technically a shmup. I don't think this is a shmup. Shmups can be sideways for sure. Okay. Then I played Gradius 3 a bunch on Super Nintendo and I liked it. Alright, we're now capped. Okay, so here's the thing. As uh, you get more XP, um, the enemies get more health. But I get 1% extra damage for every single level, so we should be okay, but uh, sometimes this ability can be kind of a trap for making it so you, uh, you can't kill all the enemies in time. Are you planning on playing the latest Kirby game? Uh, I'll probably play it with the kids at some point, because uh, they like Kirby. Because I failed as a father. What do we want? Overall duration? No. That's a waste, because we don't have anything that goes with that at all. Nothing. I kind of want to take it for the memes, just because of that. Uh, this, we will get something from it, because we get healing doubled. Um, overall projectile speed. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, duration. Uh, let's go with this one. Because I just saw someone in chat say it, so I'm just going to take this one. I want a nice open area where there's nothing around us. Does that exist on this map? Nope. Okay. You mentioned a Mr. Robot video. Is it likely to see a TV video from you at some point? Uh, I would not. I'm not know if I can say likely, but I would. I would like to for sure. But I can't say for sure if I if um that will happen. I don't know what the future holds for videos. Making the Elden Ring Elden Ring video was very difficult. I didn't see the kids much at all. Man, look at it move. The sh movement. Do, do, do. Will you be the Vadi video of the of the Vampire Survivors lore? Hell yeah! How are we doing for bitrate? How does the stream look? Again, it doesn't look too bad to me, chat. Like, what the hell? Like, it looks kind of fuzzy, but it's not too bad. Like, it's watchable. Standards are pretty low around here. Okay. Watchable. It's much worse when people have face cams. It's good that I don't have a face cam then. For multiple reasons, but yeah, good thing I don't have a face cam. Look at the movement. Look at it just zooming. You don't have a face cam? True! True. What's the lyric? I have a... No, it's gone. It's out of my head now. Have you ever thought about playing 428 Shibuya Scramble? Am I one of the best VNs of all time? Um, no. Yeah, that song's really... The lyric was something like, I got a face for radio. And something in my shoe I don't know what that what, what that's from that may be from like a YouTube video like not an actual song like some meme thing how long did the ER video take to write and produce uh, just a little over three weeks not including playing the game Bzz. So, um, actually, that's very fast, but not nearly as fast as I was hoping it could be done in.
It does feel a little bit rushed in places, but that's okay. Do you prefer making videos or streaming? Oh, that's a tough one. They both have their pros and cons, and I'm not saying this because I don't want people to be upset about which one I prefer, because I don't have a Patreon anymore, so I don't have to play that game. Um, like, they definitely both have... How is the chest all the way over here? When did we miss this chest? Um, they both have their pros and their cons. Like, with videos, it's very nice to just, like, commit to something, and, and then it's up forever, and it's, like, something you can just look back on and be proud of, whereas you can never be like that with streams. Now, some streams I'm pretty proud of, and, they've, and they're good playthroughs, but... Um, streaming is more performative, for sure. I don't know. If I had to pick one, and I could only do one forever, uh, I would pick videos. But a big part of that is because I find it difficult to keep a schedule for streaming because of my sleep disorder. I've, I've, I have narcolepsy. I've said that last stream as well. Uh, so it can be difficult for me to keep a, a schedule, so I would probably pick videos because that's easier for me to do on my own time. Um, if I could stream unscheduled and no one gave a shit, like whenever you want, you can stream, then okay, maybe now it's a, now it's a, um, a debate. Why are some beams bigger than the others? Are they all fluctuating, or...? Like, the one to my left right now looks like it's been big forever. Just stream unscheduled, VODs are good too. Yeah, it's true. But it comes back to the efficiency curse again as well. It's way more efficient to have a schedule, have, have people be rely on when the streams are going to be there. Like, I almost streamed on the weekend at, like, 4 in the morning. Who would have been here for that? And if it's in the middle of a playthrough, am I going to continue the same game? Am I going to have like a, here's the game I'm playing at 4 a.m., here's the game I'm playing at 5 p.m., here's the game that I'm playing in at noon, and I'm, I have three games on the go at the same time? Like, are people going to be upset if I'm playing, if I if I stream like off the usual time, but I continue a playthrough, you know what I mean? Like, there's lots and lots of considerations for that. It gets surprisingly complicated. Your VOD viewers are legion? Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's pretty true. That's pretty true. VODs are, VOD viewers are like the ants in the movie Ants versus the cockroaches, right? They weren't cockroaches. They were crickets. I gotta be honest with you, I don't think I've seen the movie. I've seen A Bug's Life. They were grasshoppers. All right, isn't grasshopper just another word for cricket? They were locusts. All right, apparently chat doesn't know either. <laughs> was, oh no, people are mad. <laughs> people are mad. Two different movies? What do you mean? Isn't, isn't Ants the one where... They, they go away somewhere, and the guy is like, if, if the ants ever find out that they outnumber us, like, 20 to 1, we're screwed? No, is that Bug's Life? Is it really? <laughs> what, what the hell is ants, then? Maybe I haven't seen ants. Maybe I've only seen a Bug's Life. I haven't watched those movies with the boys, okay? I'm going back from, like, when I watched them when I was younger. I think I was in my teens when A Bug's Life came out. You're thinking of the ant bully? I am not. I don't know. I've never heard of that movie or show. You know, not reading all that. Feel sorry for you or glad that happened. I don't know. Ants is the... Maybe I haven't seen Ants. Will you watch the Ant Bully on stream? I will not, no. Oh! I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot to tell you guys. Should I do it now? Should I do it now or should I... Or should I, like... Wait until the first proper stream back? We're gonna have a, a special... A special streamer event. Tell us... Oh yeah, let, let's let's stretch out two minutes of engagement. I'll tell you when the run, when the run is over. 
Stick around for two minutes, everybody. Viewership is actually going to go up. Here we go. We're at 2037. Watch. There'll be more people here at the end of this now. And then, like, 40 people leave out of spite. He thinks I'm going to stick around for two minutes to hear his bullshit announcement. Yeah, people are dropping. Here we go. They're leaving. Haha, <laughs> today I found out Anderson JPH lives in my province. Says first time chatter. That's terrifying. That's terrifying. The cashier at the grocery store today was, uh, I think, it was his first day trying meth. He was just so upbeat and happy and just like, everything was really excited, exciting to him. Like, like I don't, I don't really understand how anyone could be that happy. Don't have air miles? Hell yeah! That's fine you don't have air miles. Debit? Of course you can use debit. Here you go. Oh, you have your own bags? Darn, I wanted to bag it. You have a great day now when I'm not done bagging and have to stand there awkwardly continuing to bag for the next two minutes while he's already dismissed me, but I can't leave because my groceries are still there on the thing. So it's like... What do, what do I do? Like, I just, like, well, like well, why did you put this evil on me, dude? Like, you can't just say, like, yo, yo, bye, have a good day. Like, I'm not done. Like, just, just wait. Like, it's like, now, now the people behind me in the line are looking at me like I'm the asshole. Like, like clearly, the, the cashier, who is the authority here, thinks that you should be done. He's dismissed you, and you still haven't put, like, there's still an empty bag in front of you. Like, what are you doing? Like, why have you, why are you not, why am I waiting on you? Like, and then I said goodbye to him again, like an idiot, when I left. And then he said the exact same thing in the exact same tone with the exact same words again. I had a rough day at the grocery store. They didn't have strawberries. Or apple juice. Yeah, we made it. All right, two for two. All right, look, chat, chat went up. Look, viewers, 2,100 here now. 2,109, it went up. Oh, we're not done yet. I'm sorry. I'm having fun. <laughs> How many do we have? This is the last one, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, there we go. 1700 bonus gold. Alright, so... The guns did the best for sure. Hellfire did quite well and Gorgeous Moon did well, but we got Gorgeous Moon right right at the end. All right, so here's the announcement. So do you know how um, uh, Lily and I said that we weren't gonna have any more kids and like we were, we were done at four? Well, let me tell you, that is still the case. That's still the case. We're sticking with it. I just wanted to update you on that. Yeah, that's still the case. No more, done. Yep, yeah, all done. I'm gonna go get the old snippy snip soon too, as soon as COVID dies down again. That's it, yeah, yeah, good, okay, that's it. Uh, so we're gonna be starting an event. Um, an event during the next proper stream, which may be tomorrow or later on in the week, I don't know, depending on if the audio survives or not. Uh, and this event is Make Joe Watch an Anime. And I'm serious, this is a serious event. I'm not kidding, okay? 
This event is Make Joe Watch an Anime. So shout out to the guy who uh, on on the Joseph Anderson subreddit today, which is like, Joe will now stop pandering to the weebs. You know, posted a couple hours before the Make Joe Watch an Anime event. So here we go. Um, so this is, this is going to be uh, an event that I don't know the tuning of it. We're going to see. I'm probably going to launch it at 500 million. So for f there's going to be a, a, a communal challenge, kind of like the old AI thing. So 500 million channel points. And if you guys do it, it's going to start the races. All right? Start the races. So at 500 million channel points, you will start the races. And for 1 million channel points, you can buy a marble. Okay? You can buy a marble. All right? So for 1 million you can buy a marble and you need to tell me what the anime is that goes on the marble. Okay. Now, if you guys want to form a conglomerate, conglomerate, I can't say that word. You can buy multiple marbles of the same show. However, the marbles, the price of marbles doubles with each one. So if you want there to be, what's an anime Pokemon. If you want Pokemon, I'll watch like Pokemon you can buy one Pokemon marble for a million channel points. The next one's two million. The one after that is is four million. The one after that is eight million. Okay, that's how that's how it's gonna go. It's gonna double as we go. One million is a lot. We might tune it down, but someone already bought a marble. Okay, someone already bought a marble. So I think one million might be enough. Okay, so like I hadn't even announced it yet, and someone already bought a marble. All right. So here's how it goes. All right. Now there is one. Ghost in the Shell, all right? There's one name in the Death Notebook. There's one uh, uh, ninja on on the Cowboy Bebop, all right? And that is, you can buy a marble and say that the marble is, Joe doesn't watch anything, okay? Someone can do that if they want to. However, it's the same rules, if someone wants to put another marble in, it has to be 2 million. And if they want to buy another marble, it has to be 4 million and 8 million. It's the exact same rules. Okay? That's it. That That's the only twist. Unless I think of something funny. That is, <laughs> this is the only twist. Okay. Now, how will the marble races happen? I'm going to guess it's going to be Mario Kart rules. Okay? So, each... If there are three Pokemon marbles, then, you know, they don't get to combine points because that would just make it a shoe in for whoever wins. It would just be better chances for your for your Pokemon marble to perform. I, I am willing to take feedback on this. I don't think it should be elimination round. I think that, that would be kind of boring. I think it should be based on uh, Super Mario rules. We'll do, we'll do a Grand Prix of them all. But maybe I, w I could be persuaded into doing an elimination like... Um, like we'll do races and we just kill the the bottom two marbles every single time until we're left with 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 some at the end. I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll we'll see which one is going to be longer. If we want to do grand pricks or if we want to do um um uh, elimination or not. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, it's just non anime anime, right? I don't understand the question. Can I add a Wii video game instead of anime Marvel? No, it has to be we're watching watching an anime. Uh oh, you know I'm on my bullshit. What? Oh okay. Yes. I, I yes, just yes. I just told them how not pregnant you are. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How's it going? I'm feeling very not pregnant. Okay. But three of the four children are downstairs now making lots of noise. Okay. So All right. The real test starts now. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Not pregnant, by the not way. Pregnant. Not pregnant, by the way. Is hentai allowed? <sighs> you know what? Fuck it, yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah. That's short, isn't it? Like, wouldn't that be just an epic win for me? Because, like, they're they're short, aren't they? Like, okay, so there are some terms and conditions. All right, here are my terms and conditions. All right, hold on. Um, if One Piece wins, I, I am not watching all of one piece unless i like it okay like there there are there are limits all right like i'm not i'm not committing to 
like a year of my life to this shit, okay? Like if it if it is a reasonable length show, I will watch the whole show. If it is like One Piece and there are so many seasons, I will commit to a couple seasons, okay? I don't know how long JoJo is, but if JoJo was to win, like I don't know. Like we'll we'll see how it goes, all right? Like I am not committing to the whole thing unless I really, really like it. All right. So I'll, I'll cap out hours. Like I'm going to say, I want to be generous here. Like I'm willing to put 50 hours into this. Like, I don't know if there, how many, how many long running series there are, but I'm willing to put 50 hours into this. Okay. Like it's around there is where the floor is. Okay. Like I want this to be a fair thing. All right. Anyway, let me, let me start it up if I can. So it should already be down there. You can buy a marble. Now remember, if you start the races before the marbles get bought, then there won't be any marbles. So if one of you is sitting on 501 million channel points right now, you could just buy a marble, start the race, and just make me watch a show. But I don't think that's capable. That's, you know, I don't think that's possible. Anyway, so let's go. Edit, manage rewards and challenges. All right, so if I start this, okay. So it's going to be 30 days. All right. So whatever number it's at at the end of this, I will just like restart it at the end of the 30 days. And I think that's it, right? It's 500 million. I hope that's right. So remember, if you're if you're buying the race, you can't buy a marble. And the marble's already down there. Buy a marble for the race. Someone asked, can they buy a marble and then let me um, let me choose? But it was Merrick who asked, so I'm not responding because I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get roped into whatever machinations that uh that merrick has does someone else want to ask that question i will answer it do 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 is there a limit to unique entrance in the race uh there's probably a limit to how many points you can have so um in the event that someone picks the same marble and they don't know then i will refund their points to them and they can save up for more or they can pick a different show but if you want to buy another one, it has to be 2 million. So the first time anyone gets there, I will put like a 2 million buy-in or a 4 million buy-in or an 8 million buy-in. We don't need it just yet, but we'll do that. Does Western animation count as anime? I will leave that to, to the weebs. Weebs of a feather have to decide that together. Dude, 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 dude. Wow, 500,000 already. That's pretty good. I've been on like almost every stream and have automatic bonus points flesh in. I only have 200k. When am I going to have a million? You got to you got to win some bets, man. How did someone have a million then? I am willing to lower the amount. If it turns out this is tuned too high, I am willing to lower the amount. Can I spend coins to reduce the counter? What do you mean? Can you spend coins to take a marble away? No. Haven't done a fair amount of bets. Next to no one will be able to get to four million ever. So you're saying that there's a two marble limit? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I would I would consider dropping it down to five hundred k. One hundred thousand is more feasible. I feel like a hundred thousand. There's gonna be a lot of marbles. It's gonna be a lot of marbles. Raise the amount. Wow. The Chad. The Chad in the chat saying raise the amount. Viewers can only contribute two k per stream. How curious, huh? I guess it's going to take a lot of engagement then. 100k is way too low. I agree. I think 100k is way too low. 250k per? I think that's still a little too low. However, that does scale up. If you want to put another one up, it's 250k up to 500k up to a million. Three marbles. Uh, do 350k? Oh. I think this is only reached 500 million. That, that many monocones do not exist. Let's see how well we can do in a month, okay? We're almost at a million already, okay? Let's see how well we can do in a month. And I will. I am willing to tweak this. What if we can buy a fraction of a marble for 100k and at the end of the time limit we do a poll and the top winner gets marbles assembled for a fragment pool? I am, okay, so I'm also willing to make it another community challenge where 
you guys can propose a marble and I can put it down and everyone can contribute to buying the marble together. That would like a marble auction? Like are you guys going to buy this marble? Hmm. Hmm. Can I have can I have more than one um more than one community thing going at a time? But I also am gonna leave I'm also gonna leave the single marble up for anyone who wants to save up a marble for themselves. What are we talking about? I can't explain it to you. So with 2k viewers, we can only get 4 million mono coins per stream. That sounds like a very doable challenge to me, if you ask me. Like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Sounds to me like you need to buy off a mod that will make easy bets so you can funnel all the mono coins into elected representatives. I'm okay with this. Um, that elected representatives for certain animes, like I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. Like, as long as you guys don't do it too often, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with this. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's already going off the rails. It's been like five minutes. It's already like rigged poles to funnel water coins up to the 1% so they can buy the marble with no guarantee or protection that they're even going to buy the marble that you that you asked them to get. They could just be like, yes, yes, I'll do one piece. And then like, no, here, here's angel, angel mono kuma bullshit. Like, <laughs> Oh man. Okay, I will I will let this simmer and I will consider lowering the price or making it so there's multiple community events that you can buy into a marble if you like. But I got to say if if there is that kind of thing, I feel like 1 million is too low for that. I guess if we ever got to the point where there were multiple marbles for each of them. How many community events can I do? I don't know if I can do that or not. Maybe I could do them at the beginning of the month if people want to buy marbles and then the race comes back on. Hmm. Hmm. When will the marble goddess descend? Oh man, you're giving me ideas. Is the marble edible? Says first time chat from viewer. Wow, what an amazing first first uh, message in chat. Is the marble edible? Amazing. Excuse me. Is the marble a literal marble? How about bomb marbles that destroy all marble, all marbles in the winning tray when it lands? That sounds like a good idea. And they explode when they land, right? So anything that comes after that, that would be great. That would be amazing. Anyway, uh, I'm going to um, get some music on from a level, and then I'm going to go pee. And everyone else can go brush their teeth. We've been live for two hours. Uh, who has the best music? Someone tell me right away, and I'll put it on, and I'm just gonna go. Is it just, uh, is it just Bayonetta? Papia? It stages? I thought, I thought Pugnala had special music. No? Okay. I will be back in about five minutes. Go brush your teeth, go get a drink. And we're going to play something else when I come back because uh, it's not triggering the sound. We might have to go back to Hollow Knight.
Wow, did you guys hit a million? Well, in a million, the first Radiant Angel to set no. Five hundred million requires two hundred fifty thousand individual donations of two thousand. At current viewer status, that's each viewer don donating max. That requires one hundred twenty-five streams. That's minimum four months of streaming every day. Damn! Do you smell the engagement? Honestly, I think I might have to put it up even higher. That just smells like engagement to me. This is just like shameless. Just completely shameless. So shameless. All right, so I think we need to play some Hollow Knight because it's not happening and maybe it's something specific to Hollow Knight. One of the sounds in that game or something, I don't know. Uh, let me turn the sound fairly down and we're gonna start Hollow Knight again. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do in Hollow Knight. I don't know if we're just gonna hang out in God Home. So if you haven't played Hollow Knight, it might be spoilers. Well, it not might be, it will be spoilers, but maybe you don't care about, about Hollow Knight. Um, if you haven't played Hollow Knight yet, you should have. But uh, maybe we can just walk around and just hit things in the world, I don't know. What CPU do you have? I have a 12900K we were talking about earlier. This computer is really good. I built it for um, maximizing video editing, uh, potentially even with 4K video files. I don't really spend money outside of work things, so I tend to go for it when it comes to that. Okay, there's Hollow Knight, and there's the sound. How is it? Too loud? Too quiet? Joe, you literally have kids to spend money on? Well, I'm not counting money spent on the kids. We do spoil the kids a fair amount. I'm talking about, like, like for me. I don't really have fun with a lot of things. Like, like I said, like, I have a... A whole box of magic cards here and I have two more upstairs one's like a whole like regular box set of like Strixhaven or whatever and I just I haven't opened them I opened some of the packs I looked at them I was like this is fun I enjoy doing this and it's like okay that back to work you know like do you want me to open another pack I don't really have fun with a lot of things it's work man it's work but I enjoy my job There's, um, like, to be super real for a second, it, it, it's a curse to to monetize your biggest hobby. Like, video games are my biggest hobby. They're also probably my biggest passion. Like, I'm, I'm okay with, like, it's an art form. I'm okay with saying that. Um, like, it, it's a curse to monetize that because it's, uh, it, it takes it a little bit away from, from, from the fun of it. Like, every single time that I ever play a game, like, I'm acutely aware that I could just be streaming, you know? Like... I, I could just stream and I could I could interact with you guys and that's really fun too, but it, it turns it into a different thing, you know what I mean? Like or if I'm playing a game, it's like, well, should I make this into a video? Should I be should I be taking notes right now just in case? Should I be recording this right now just in case? And it, it gives me a lot of um, paralysis when it comes to making decisions actually. Like sometimes I, I will just sit here and not play a game, even though I have some spare time, because I don't want to have to deal with the fact that should I be recording? Do I have hard drive space? What if I turn this into a game? What if this becomes a script a script in my head and now that's another thing that's floating on my head? You know, just stuff like that, right? Um, anyway, here we go. I'm opening the pack. It's not it's not the worst thing in the world. Don't get me wrong, but like uh, like I feel very privileged to have the position that I do. Um, but it can be a little sad sometimes. All right. It's a human. Is this the back of the, the deck? Yes, it is. Okay, so first one is Undying Malice. Perish Blade Trainee. Oh, man. See the art on that one? Looks great, huh? Here, let me hold it up to the camera. I actually did hold it up to the microphone. Wretched Throng. Oh, that looks cool. 
Lantern Bearer also looks cool. This is from uh, the Crimson Vow set, by the way. Innistrad Crimson Vow. Edgar's Awakening. Oh, man. Edgar's asleep, but he won't be for long. Blood Rain is, is giving him a drink. Soul Cipher Board. Ooh, that looks neat. I like that. So something I've noticed with these cards in, uh, in these packs is that they kind of have like, they have kind of like horizontal roller marks on them. Is that because there was a mistake with when they printed them that day? Or is that just a part of some sets or like tiny little, almost imperceptible depending, is that when they're shiny? These are, um, these are collector packs. So most of these are shiny in here. They have like tiny little like grooves on them horizontal lines on them almost you can't feel them you can just see them basic land planes this one doesn't have them cemetery desecrator Ooh, that looks like nemesis oh he's a mythic he's a big boy menace Mirage Phalanx. Looks pretty good. Looks like a Spirit Ashes. Lantern Flare. Markov Purifier. Gluttonous Guest. Oh man, there are boobs on this card. Harker's Journal. Oh, that looks nice. Blood Crazed Socialite. Dracula Blood Immortal. Okay, so like he's Dracula is our rare? You would think Dracula would be like a vampire survivor. You think he would be a a mythic, right? He's our he's our rare. Holy crap. He's a full art shiny too. That looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like the full art cards. Boar and human. Alright, that's it. That's the whole pack. There's like four different Draculas in this set. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. Is manga on the table at all for the marble race? No. No lightning will. Oh man, did anyone just make some big monocoin plays to, to get a marble bot? Can you imagine getting two lightning lightning wolves in a box? That would just be amazing. I don't think we have that power. Okay, so, um, I don't know what to do. I could just mess around in God Home and just fight some bosses, but I don't know, like, like, do people care about spoilers for this game? I guess if anyone's gonna, I guess if you care about spoilers, you're not gonna watch anything about this game, right? So, go to the edge of the kingdom. Where was it happening the most? Was it the edge of the kingdom? Keep in mind, viewers can only wager up to 250 channel points per bet. Oh man, I, I just smell the engagement. I smell the engagement. The boss rush bit was really screwed. Yeah, it happened two or three times in quick succession there, right? But it also happened when I took big hits from, from enemies. Maybe I should just play. I don't know. That was fast. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is coffee. Thank you. You didn't drink any, right? Because of your condition, right? No. Okay. It would be, it would, it would be yeah. It would, yeah. Change switch directory. Oh yeah, I do need to change switch directory. Thank you. What are my thoughts on Tunic? Uh, I don't really like it all that much. I don't really like the combat all that much, and there's a lot of combat. I like the exploration. I like the visuals. Some of the secrets it does are neat. I like the fake manual, although I have to say um, that it was surreal when I was playing it. Okay, so Tunic was... The first time I ever played Tunic was on Steam Deck, and it was like the day I got the Steam Deck, I think, is when I played Tunic. Um, so, like, it was... It wasn't 
Steam Deck verified. So Steam Deck uses um, shit. Someone on the channel know what it is, uh, but Steam Deck uses Linux, and there's something on Linux that it runs on. So it's not running on Windows, which means that it has to be verified. Pro Proton, that's it. It runs on Proton. So not every game runs on the Steam Deck. So it has to be Steam Deck verified, and, and some devs, I think, have to make some changes or whatever. So they're being very uh, careful about making something Steam Deck verified. So even if um, the only problem that the game has is that you have to open up um, uh, the keyboard menu in order to type in some in-game box or whatever, and, and you can't use the analog stick for that, it doesn't get verified. Um, so they're being very stringent when it comes to what is considered Steam Deck verified. Um, so when Tuna came out, it hadn't been verified, but I just played it anyway. So I'm playing it, and if you've played Tunic, uh, and this is a minor spoiler for Tunic, uh, but you find out in the, in the first like half hour, um, it, it has an in-game language. So the in-game language, it doesn't tell you, but some things are in your, your language, in whatever language you chose. Well, in my case, it was in English. So there were some directions that were in English, some UI elements that were in English, and others were in the, the in-game language. Uh, and the in-game language kind of looks like a real language. And then you find like um, like a, a manual, in the, an in-game manual, that in like you find pages at a time, kind of like an NES manual. It's actually one of the best things about it. Um, and that was in different languages too. And I'm, I'm playing it and I'm like, is this the Steam Deck verification fucking this up? <laughs> I was, for the first hour, I was like, is is this is this messing with my language set? <laughs> Like, like, what's going on? Like, what the fuck? So it's like, I was very confused, and that kind of put me off for the first hour or so. Um, but yeah. Jazz needs to know, is the anime a watch-along, or you watch alone? Okay, so if it's on Amazon, and I'm allowed to watch it along on stream, I will do that. Like, no problem, I have no issues doing that, as long as it's, like, I'm capable of setting it up, which I think I should be. Um, if you guys want me to watch it with with a black screen, and I have just a timer on, and I hit the button, and we watch it together, I would need to be convinced that enough of you want to watch it with me for that to happen. Um, and I also have to know that it's that I'm allowed to do it. I don't see how I could possibly not be allowed to do it. Like, it's just, just chatting, right, with, with a timer on the bottom. Um, I would be, I would consider doing it, okay? I would consider it. Do, do, do. Rev Scarecrow watched JoJo like that and it was fine? Okay. Might be fine then. Alright, so on this playthrough I died to Marmu. So that was fun. Okay, do we do we want it to cut out? I kind of like I'd like to have it cut out to isolate it just to Hollow Knight, but honestly, like I think we had a 2-hour run of Hollow Knight where it was fine too, but if it happens quickly then then we'll know. But I I'd also just prefer it if it didn't obviously and then we wouldn't have to worry about this anymore. Will you watch it with a webcam on? No. I don't do webcam. Oh, I know where we're going. If we make you watch Evangelion, will you also watch the movie after it? Don't push it, weep. Don't push it. You weep. Audio is desynced for you? Really? Okay. What? It's back in sync for me now? Okay, so I'm gonna microphone, like the controller's just the microphone. It's fine. Maybe it's like uh, 50 MS off or something. Shit. Oh, I want to go back and get my ghost.
Will you consider doing doing a VTuber dragon when you do it? No. 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 Maybe. No. How disappointing. Welcome to the stream. Will it be subs or dubs? You know what? You guys can decide. Or we do a lightning round 50 sub marbles, 50 dub marbles. Oh man, could you imagine if your anime wins and you hate the dubs? And then dubs wins. Oh, that would just be a beautiful moment of agony. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Knowing it's completely out of your control, too. Oh, that's just delicious. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely doing that. Uh, not here. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that opens up after you go around. Yeah, I knew you couldn't go through them. I wanted to test, though. Audio's dead? No, it's not. You made me look, though, you piece. You weeb? Sorry. You piece is copyright by Northern Line. I have to say you weeb. You weeb? Oh, man. Do different versions of the same anime count as unique entries in that they don't price stack? Uh, I don't really understand the question. So... Are you saying like if something had a re remaster or a remake, if if that is different than watching the original? So if we were doing it, if we were doing video games and it was like, okay, so video games are a bad example of this because if if it was like Dark Souls One or Dark Souls One remaster or whatever, like I would consider them to be pretty much the same thing. But Demon Souls original versus Demon Demon Souls remake, I would consider them to be two different entities. Or Resident Evil 2 original versus Resident Evil 2 remake. I consider those two different ent entities, so you'd have different marbles for those. A marble that switches to the German dub. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna marble race for all the languages at the end too. I mean, if I'm watching it with um with subtitles, I don't care what language it's in. Someone's mad at that. That's going to make someone angry. That someone is me. <laughs> Alright, can we kill Marmu? Apparently Marmu is hard if you speedrun her here. If you get to her fast. No, I should have opened the door. Good. Oh, yeah, okay. It's a whole new game. I think playing this has made me reconsider streaming Silk Song when it comes out. I think I will stream Silk Song when it comes out, but um, I'm going to stream with chat off. I'll stream my first playthrough and we'll play it and we'll see. But definitely with chat off. What if it doesn't come out? It will come out. I used to have this down where I would just I would just ping her off the wall.
Yeah, that seems more like it. Okay. Are Joe streams becoming a thing again? Yeah, kind of, but I don't know how often we're going to be doing them. At least one game a month if the audio issue is solved. But if it's not, then I don't know what to do. How is the sound of the game? Is it loud enough? Uh, it's not that loud, is it? Let me turn up a little bit. Game is pretty low. Tad quiet. Could be a bit louder. I said a little bit louder now. Hey, Joe, I'm thinking of buying 13 Sentinels, but if you're going to stream it soon, I won't. Do you know if you'll stream it soon? Oh, trying to push the issue here. Interesting. Um, I mean, I don't know. I can't really answer, sorry. I will stream it at some point in the future, but I don't know exactly when. Okay, now I want to go back down and I want to go to the Deep Nest. What is the next game on the schedule? Uh, either Resident Evil 8 Chaos game if it's not in DMCA Hell, which it might be. Or uh, I'm kind of feeling Deathloop. I don't know, we'll see. But probably Resident Evil 8. I need to show you all, despite playing Hunt Showdown for a bit, uh, that I still can't shoot, so. Fun, fun, fun. This is the mask guy, right? So, does everyone visit this guy at some point? Get Vadi on the phone. What do you see from Resident Evil 8? Only the, the big waifu that everyone loves that I just don't understand the appeal, but... Yeah, that's it. That's all I know. Eyes are red. Oh man, I'm in. The pendulum swings quickly sometimes. Game audio is out of sync. Is it really? It is. Okay, what, what is an obvious tell for it? Is it this? Oh, uh, you know what it is? I bet you it's because I have to change the microphone, not the game audio. Hold on. That's one of the mistakes I made. All right. Okay, so this is fine now, right? But I might be a little, I might be off, but this is fine, right? Okay, so listen to me pressing the button and is it too far ahead or is it right on? Button is ahead. Okay, how about now? Now button is behind. Okay. How 
How about now? A bit ahead. Okay, so now I'm just I'm just have to put it on zero. So why was it that my my singing was off earlier? Okay, how about this now? Then why was my singing off earlier? This is based just just on zero now. Weird. Because you can't sing. And my singing has nothing to do with the timing. I know I can't sing. I love singing, but I can't sing. Where is Witcher 3? Where is Witcher 3? Where is Witcher 3? Oh no, it's these dudes! Finn asked me to help help him kill one of these uh, yesterday, and he didn't have um, Mark of Pride or Long Nail, so I just said good luck and left. <laughs> I don't know. Good luck, kid. All right, Cornifer is at the way over to the east where, um, whatchamacallit is. The Mantis Lords. God damn it. Opinions on fish, uh, fill or regular type? I don't really have uh, many good memories with fish. Should you have to pay for these, though? I guess it doesn't matter. It adds a little bit to it. Just seems like you could get stuck down here with no geo. What do you know about Deathloop? Not very much. I think I only just saw the one trailer. I have heard mixed things uh, from it. Someone I trust says it's pretty good, but not great. Finn asked me why this happens, and I didn't have an answer for him. Felt pretty bad. Go to karaoke song. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Should we do it? Rouge of love, come take my heart. Danny Dana. What if we just started streaming Kawami tomorrow? What if we just did that? What's stopping us? There's nothing stopping us. Like that that's that could happen. Yeah. 
Let me idea when you'll get to the voted for games. Um, fairly soon, we're gonna do. Oh crap! Uh, we're gonna do. I got hit on purpose, so uh, we could test the audio. Uh, we're gonna do a, a playthrough of a game that wasn't voted, and then we'll start on one of the voted games. Probably a shorter one. In case you're wondering, I haven't heard the kids at all in the stream so far. That's good. I'll listen to it back and see. Uh, there was an issue with the first stream that it was fine until the very end, and Finn was talking, and I could understand what he was saying. And uh, I know that some of you won't care about this, but I care. I don't want the kid growing up in a household where uh, like a legion of strangers could hear what he was saying when he was when young. It's not like he's saying anything bad. Like it's just I don't want that experience for him. Um, you know, so I will uh, like that was a no-go for me and I was and I was worried but um, the basement door has a um, a Cat door on it But the cat doesn't use it because the dogs are down here She used to use it, but she doesn't use it anymore and I, I blocked it up. So with that blocked up I think it's fine, but they haven't been all that loud today, so Okay, I remember struggling on these guys, actually, even with the long nail. You're supposed to, like, hit them one stash away. What if I hit them with this? Yeah, that's a pretty good way of doing it. Can't you just ask Lily to shout a bunch in in front of the door? In her condition? Wow. What? 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 The? Oh! Cr <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was close. All right, we did it. Hardest enemy in the game. Audio test. Yeah, this is the audio test still. Like we're seeing if uh, the audio breaks. In the previous streams when we played Hollow Knight, the, the, the audio will cut out and I have to unplug the USB uh, interface and plug it back in. And um, I have messed with it a bunch now and it seems to be much better. My temperatures are much cooler too. It's it's only hitting around 59 degrees now instead of like it was getting to 70 last time I streamed Hollow Knight. So the case fans I added are helping a lot. There are door sound blockers that are in essence only a piece of cloth for the lock and the lower part of the door. This improves it huge, huge, and you can just use a towel. Yeah, looking into that might be good. You piece of cloth, you timepiece. Finally catching you live again. Did you notice the similarities between Elden Ring and Hollow Knight's final boss combination? Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's... Probably intentional, Hollow Knight being the masterpiece that it is that Elder Ring can only hope to, to get close to. Got him eventually. Has the same kind of problems as Hollow Knight too. Um, that was uh, one of the inspirations for me uh, speaking about that boss. It was because I felt the same way, until Pure Vessel came out, I felt the same way about the Hollow Knight. Uh-oh. I'm really bad at fighting these. If this was a boss in God Home, I would be screwed. I am just abysmal at fighting those. Oh, look, can I get some soul from you so I can go kill the other one? Isn't there a branch in here? Sorry. <laughs> Bench? Sorry. Finn calls it a brunch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Brench friends. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. All right, so this is a uh, repeat content because I told people on Discord. So, um, when we last did a stream, uh, it was one of the like the Game Awards streams or something. I, t I told uh, you all about like the height of comedy in in the um, in the house right now is. Uh, wait, what? Is this it? No, this isn't it. Uh, the height of comedy in the house was um, replacing words with pee or poo. So. Um, Instead of instead of Paw Patrol, it was like Poo Patrol, or uh, as Leo changed it to, just just poo three times in a row, poo poo poo. Instead of instead of Paw Patrol turning into Poo Patrol, it was just poo poo poo. Um, <laughs> so that that became a while, and uh, and then it turned into like uh, like like fart and pee. And, and poo and butt uh, and for a long time they would sing the song and I and I have it stuck in my head I will I will probably sing it multiple times over the next few streams uh, which is um it goes like this pizza pee pizza poo pizza nappy pizza butt just like they just combine the uh, the words with with pizza anyway so I didn't see the um, the uh, potential here and Finn you know, all the little the little fins that live in Finn's brain um, took it to the lab and did like, you know, three weeks of research and then unlocked this chestnut, which made me cry laughing when he called Leo P.O. Funny for like maybe 30 seconds and then Leo was really upset so of course we just like we just nipped that in the bud right away like you can't call him P.O. <laughs> but in, in this time he just kept yelling I'm not P.O. which just made it funnier so me and Lily like had to like hold back the laughter like because he was like I'm, I'm not P.O. and we were like we can't let the kid be bullied in his own house so we were like no 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 he's not P.O. but then Kate got it so now now every Every so often, Kate will just just say, "I'm not P.O." Just <laughs> it's like it was gonna, it was nothing to do with you, Kate. But she'll just say, ah, "I'm not P.O." Like, <laughs> oh man, I got him back though. Like I made it even. Like I wasn't gonna let like Leo just just sit there and take that without having like some reversal so we um it wasn't as good but i gave leo go call finn poo in <laughs> and so they had that back and forth and then they were even and then um and then that was it yeah so oh man <laughs> That's much better. No, P.O. is way better than Pooin. P.O. is amazing. <sighs> you would think that Mila would become Pila, but no. Like, Mila is... Mila is, is princess of the house. Like, the boys will not hear, especially Finn, the boys will hear, like, no word against Mila at all. Like, even even if Mila is, like, like crying a lot, and, um, and you know, she just, we're getting frustrated because she won't go to sleep, like, Finn, Finn will just be like, you know, she's only a baby. Like, she's, like, Mila's, like, house princess. Yeah, it's really sweet. Okay, it's looking pretty good for the audio. Thought I heard kind of a crackle when I fell into it that time. No, I guess we're okay. Pusa. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh man. Oh, this isn't the way. I went back to the beginning. I thought it looped back around. God damn it. Have you tried moving the mic interface cable to see if it fails? I have not. Um, I will try that at the end of the stream if it doesn't happen before that. It could be some sort of movement. Yeah, like it's cutting out. That's a good idea. I thought for sure it was going to be that it's in the wrong kind of USB port, but no, it was, it was already in a USB 3. Am I going the wrong way? Do I have to like loop up and go or... Wait, I can teleport out. No, 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 I want the tram pass. You can't teleport? I've, I found the exit of this place, I still can't teleport. Okay, this is the end. Alright, so now we go to the left. There we go, we did it. World first. Opinions on Big Talk Big Top Burger. Oh, I love that. I love Worthy Kids. Uh, Kate really likes Wire. She'll listen to it, and she'll just laugh, and then she'll go, AGAIN! And then we have to listen to it again. She also really likes this Pikachu song uh, on, on YouTube. Hey, Pikachu, Pika Pika, let me take a closer peek at you. Or Pikachu. Kate like the wire more than Breaking Bad. It seems like it, yep. Yeah. Why is there a thing you can stand on here? Is it for Crystal Dash? Have your kids watched Space Jam? They have watched Space Jam. They were a little, tiny little bit scared of um, the aliens. It was the first Space Jam. They were a little unsure about that, but uh, they got through it. Was it Blu-ray or DVD? Neither. It was on Netflix. Oh, oh, look who showed up. Look who showed his face. The the liar himself. Woogie. The you can't pick up more than six passives in Vampire Survivors. Well, well, well. Your silence is deafening. Whoa, he just dodged me. What was this, Margit? Like, what the hell is he doing? You know you can shoot in this game, right? Yeah, but I don't do that. I can't wait for the game I make to have, like, a ranged weapon option, and then I'm going to stream it and not use it. <laughs> oh, man. When I did that VV run post patch, I only had six unless it's showing it wrong. Yeah, you can have more than six now. You can you can still go get more after you get six. We did it on stream earlier. And then I made the joke, Wuggy lied, maidens died, and not enough people laughed at it. I thought it was pretty funny. 
which is actually recycled content. I was I was gonna make a fake thumbnail for the for the Elden Ring video back when it was like being teased as an April Fool's thing, and uh, it was gonna be like like just horrible splash art of just a bunch of different texts, and it was and one of the things was gonna be uh, um, skill up lied maidens died like not a ten out of ten, you know that sort of thing. But then Naja made the 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 Will Smith one, so I just posted that. It doesn't work. They're immune. Do you think you'll ever stream Osfi? It's because of Osfi, Joe? Um, I don't know. I think I would like to stream that at some point. I have played it, but only a little bit. A long time ago now, actually. Well, I say a long time ago, but it's still, it's hard for me to know. It was before COVID, and that in my head becomes like a long time ago. Um, it was a very overwhelming game. I played it for like an hour or two, and I was... I felt like my brain was overclocked trying to play it. It was it was very complicated, and I like that. I like those types of games, but um, I wasn't 100% sold on it. Whoops. Why did I not pogo? I had to play Os Osfi on maxed out angel mode. I don't know what that means, but I know I should be embarrassed for you. I'm sorry. Brave of you to say that in chat though. Have you played Sable, Joe? I have not. Should I play Sable? Oh, we're done. Good. It looked a little boring. Yeah, it's okay. I remember you saying that. In an early version of Vampire Survivors, you could get items from on chests you didn't have. You could use that to go over the limit. One of the patches later removed that saying that going over would come back in another form. Okay, maybe that's where the confusion was coming from. The Vampire Survivors patch, uh, patch expert has logged on. So doing this place first as on my first run is probably one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had in my entire life. It was so cool getting lost in here. I hope Silk Song can get me back to that place at least a little bit. Even with the lantern you can get pretty lost down here. Uh, spirit time, right? Self juggle on this guy. Mm, uh, looks like it'd be pretty hard. Maybe with, sh with Shade Cloak and some practice, you could probably do it. So you got here with nothing? Yeah, I got here, um, I didn't have the lantern, and I killed 
Mantis Lords the first time I saw them, and then I went to the left, and then I, I didn't know about the Lantern, so it was really dark, and I just kind of like stumbled my way through it, thinking this was like some oppressive intended experience, and then I fell down a, a shaft, and I used the bench, and I got stuck in Deep Nest, and I had to fight my way out, and it was amazing. It was really cool. And it added a lot to the rest of the game too because I because I got stuck and I and I got out via the tram pass, it made the world feel really huge because I was going to these all these other areas instead of where I thought I was going to. Because I didn't even know at that point there were two trams. I thought there was only one tram and it was gonna take me back to the starting area. And instead, no, this was a whole entire tram line. I have a feeling that that Silk Song is going to be at least twice the size of Hollow Knight. The way that they're that they're they've gone radio silent on it, and and it's and they made this game on such a small budget and so quickly, and they already had so much to show of of Silk Song when they announced it a while ago. I have a feeling Silk Song is going to be absolutely huge. If it's not, then it's going to be super refined, and that's even maybe even more exciting. Do you agree that Elden Ring's open world isn't that different from the generic open world, but just hides it better from you because there are no markers or such? Yes and no. Uh, definitely for sure when it comes to uh, the content that's in it, but it has good combat, so that also hides it from you. Um, but in terms of structure, no. The way that it, it leads you to moments of discovery that actually feels like you're you're finding parts of a world and finding your way in instead of just being like, oh, you hit level 20, time to go to the next zone now. Like, like no. In terms of structure, it's very different. This is the wrong way. The tram pass is the other way. But there's a bench here, isn't it? Yeah, there's a branch. And it comes with branch friends. That's good. You could change some Nightbot messages about the Patreon and the back seating. I, what do you mean the back seating? I could change it, yeah. You gonna make it worth my while? Maybe with a little bit of a marble. I wonder if I should update the uh, info in the bottom below the uh, below the video viewer as well. Yeah, like, all this I found really early on, and it, it was just, the world was just amazing. It's like, what the hell is this? Sorry to ask the same question again, but would you say Elden Ring is still one of your favorite games ever despite its glaring issues? Ooh, I don't know about that. Maybe, like, the good parts are really that good. It's a huge game, so I find it very easy to separate, but... Yeah, maybe. Like, Dark Souls 1 is, is similar. I think that the lows of Dark Souls 1 possibly don't get as low as the lows of Elden Ring. Um, the difference between them is definitely around the same, but there's nothing in Elden Ring that is as bad as uh, Better Bullshit, but they're a lot more experienced now, and you'd think that they wouldn't have these, these huge drops, so it kind of feels worse in a way, but it definitely isn't that bad. Since you are such a Genshin fan, wow, will you react to the new Ayaka trailer? Uh, no. You weep? What do you think of Soulsborne PvP, especially in Invasions? It's not really my thing. Um, it doesn't seem all that balanced to me, so I'm not really interested in it. Balance is really important to me for multiplayer, for me to feel like I'm not wasting my time. Believe it or not, exactly the same happened. 
exactly the same thing happened to me as well in Deep Nest, but we are in minority. I feel you should be really lucky or unlucky for something like this to happen. That's what made it even more special. I consider it lucky, but I can definitely see someone else getting stuck in here and just quitting the game. They have to restart. Do, do, do. I remember when Sakura came out, you rated it lower than Dark Souls 3 and Neo. Do you still feel that way? Sorry if I'm remembering on. You might be remembering, right? I don't know. Um, so my opinion on Sakura is mature. This time has gone on. And playing playing Elden Ring made me appreciate it e even more. I remember playing Sekiro, and there were a couple things that annoyed me in Sekiro when I was first playing it, and, uh... I don't know. Maybe I was being a bit too too nitpicky about it. But I didn't... I think that it lacks some boss variety, and it also lacks, um... This is where I came from. And it also isn't that long of a game. And they could have done more from it. I was also kind of salty, still, that they hadn't done the interconnected world again. I was... It had this like little glimpse of it, and I and I thought, oh man, are they actually doing it? When you get back into the starting area, I was like, oh, is this happening? And then no, it's very much like Dark Souls Three again, only on a miniature scale, where it's just kind of like different different platforms elevated with these kind of like tunnels connecting them, sort of thing. Um, and that was kind of disappointing. But um, playing a lot of these games has made me realize how good Sekiro's combat system is. I'd rather have a game with really high highs and really, really lows than a game with just average throughout. Like, I don't disagree with everything people say about the final act of Dark Souls 1, but the first half is so good that I can't think of anything... I can't think of this game negatively at all. So, I agree with you that I would rather have that too. I'd rather have... Like, as I get older, the more... the I value interesting experiences more than, than good experiences. Um, okay, so can you just sh shut up? Oh god. Alright, so I I'm sorry dude, I'm just moving on. So I agree that uh, having really high highs and very interesting, uh, you know, you're taking the good with the bad makes it a more um, worthwhile experience for sure, but um, at the same time I feel like it's worth criticizing because you don't have to have the bad with the good, right? Like they could have done it better. In Dark Souls 1 case, it's just they didn't have time to finish it, I think. So that's very sympathetic, a very sympathetic problem. But in Elden Ring, it just, it just feels like, well, maybe they ran out of time too, I don't know. But in Elden Ring's case, it just feels like really bad decisions that made them get there. Oh, audio almost cut out there. Maybe part of it was looping. Which one do you want first, Bloodborne 2 or Sekiro 2? Probably Bloodborne 2. I'd like to see what they do with it. Honestly, I didn't want to say this in the video because I hadn't played it uh, as much as I played the other games, but going back to Bloodborne on the PlayStation 5, I don't know if it's because of it, because how it runs on the PlayStation 5 or it's trying to make it run at a higher frame rate, but it's not getting there or something. I don't know. Like... Bloodborne was starting to feel kind of creaky to me, man. When I was playing, I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like, it's, it feels kind of weird to play. So I don't know if it's 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 aging more than the others or if um, if it's something to do with that version. But like, I would really like to see Bloodborne at a at a stable frame rate. It just it felt kind of bad compared to Elden Ring and and you know Demon Souls on the same console and just like hmm. It's similar to Dark Souls 2 in that respect, in that you have to uh, kind of ad ad adapt to it. Sorry, I'm getting a little tired, so I'm slurring my words a little bit more now, even more than usual. I've been live for three hours, so... Oh, you're not fake. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Weak streamer, I agree. I mean, I did a fair amount of exercise today, so... I'm 
surprised I'm still chugging along. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? Do, do, do. What are you doing, dog? What is the point where Elden Ring started to become bad to most people? I just finished Lindell, and to be honest, so far, Storm Hill Castle <laughs> was my favorite part, and it just went downhill from there. Um, after that part is where I think that it starts to go down. After the capital. What is the dog doing? The dog is truffling for food. Have you seen the BBD make? I have, yeah, it looks looks interesting. Simply from a world building and story perspective, which of the From Software games do you prefer? Excluding the linear storytelling of Sekiro. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, probably Bloodborne. Although I do like Elden Ring's uh, world building and story as well. Dark Souls is not that bad. Sekiro would probably put it at the lowest for that in terms of world building, that sort of thing. Um I really like Bloodborne's use of the chalice dungeons is that this this thing that they discovered and it kind of just like like they opened a portal to the like this dimension they don't understand but it gave them power and this is just kind of defined and corrupted this place like it, it was pretty interesting even like not even really understanding it and not really paying much attention to it it still kind of captivated me i was like oh that's that's kind of cool um so i liked that um so I think I would give it to Bloodborne. I also just really like the setting of Bloodborne and how, like, how it looks visually. So that's just very appealing to me. Um, Bloodborne also feels... Bloodborne also feels real. Um, like, so... All these games are supposed to be taking part in a very tumultuous period of, the, of, the, of this world. And in the case of Dark Souls and Elden Ring and even Sekiro, I just... I just don't see people walking around having a normal life in this place. Like, can you see people actually living in Undeadburg and just like, you know, hey, Terry, how's it going? Oh, yeah, I'm just going to go down to the store. Like, I just, I don't see it. Like, I, I, I can't imagine anyone living in this place, you know? Like, like I can't imagine anyone living in Anne or Londo either. Like, like nowhere in this place. And uh, Elder Ring's kind of the same too, although there are parts of Elder Ring for sure. I can see people living there. Um, well, maybe one place specifically. Elder Ring's a little bit better. Um, Sekiro, no. Sekiro is just kind of these weird floating platform islands again. But Bloodborne, I can. I can see people living in Bloodborne, in, in Yarnum. I can see that happening. Maybe not every part of it, but I can see people inhabiting that world and walking around it. Um, it's not perfect for that, but I can. So it just seems more plausible to me. I can imagine people living in Linda. Yeah, that's the one place I was thinking of. Do you mean living in locations uh, before it went to shit or after? Before, like even before it went to shit. I can't, I can't see people like living in Undeadburg. And it's fine. It doesn't have to be that way. But I, I, I can in Bloodborne. Will you ever play Persona Three? If it comes on PC, I will. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I hate you, Nosk. Oh, I'm going to die. JK. Shouldn't he be dead by now? What's my nail? Isn't it plus two? One more hit, I agree. All right, we got him. So, fun fact, because of um, because of how God Home works, this version of Nosk is probably the boss I have fought the least out of all of them in the entire game, because he's not in the gauntlet. 
But I did get him on radiant mode, so go me. As a YouTuber, can you see dislikes on your videos even though no one else can? I can, and you also can too with a, uh, with a, whatchamacallit, with a, with an add-on or whatever. I think you can see them. Is there a faster way out of here? No, there isn't, because you can go back, I think. Some people are taking the dislike comment at the beginning of the Elden Ring video way too seriously. You mentioned that Sekiro is too short, small. How did... How do you think it compares to other FromSoft games if you exclude DLCs? Um, I still think it's on the shorter side. Sekiro without... Sorry, Dark Souls 3 without DLC is still a fair bit longer than Sekiro, isn't it? See, Sekiro is hard to judge because you can just run through it so much faster. Like, you can beat Sekiro real fucking fast. Especially considering you don't need souls or anything either. Sekiro and Bloodborne are mostly the same length. Do you think so? I think Bloodborne is a fair bit longer, but Bloodborne is also too short. Maybe it's about the same. I would really like it if they took their Elden Ring kind of um, length and translated that into a more traditional game going forward. Yeah, I know. I know. I know that's where we are. Yeah, I know. So far, so good for audio. Oh no, there's a part down here I'm bad at. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I did it, nice. Nailed it? No, I used I used dodges. Did I finish God Home? Yep. For the video I finished it. If I went and practiced again the last three, I wonder if I could do it on stream. I almost got radiance on my first try. But I'm really rusty at Pure Vessel. Really rusty. Um. Oh right, that's the call it back if it's not here. Just wondering, will you be playing Hell in Neighbor 2? No, I will not. Have I missed any questions that people have been asking for the whole entire stream? Do you reckon that the shorter the, the From game, the higher quality seems to be? Uh, n no, no, maybe no. Hmm. Hmm. If you take an average of all of their games, I kind of feel like they're all around the same quality apart from Dark Souls 2. Demon Souls is hard for me to judge, but that was their first game. I kind of feel like they're really close together, actually. If you take the highs with the low at the same time. Hmm. I didn't get the map for Deepness, did I? Okay, what else, what else do we have to do? Have you ever replayed Sekiro with Kuro's Charm and the Bell Enabled? I have not, no, but I want to. One day I will. Fave boss from Sekiro. Goes back and forth. Um, if you asked me right when it first came out and I was done with it, I would have said Demon. I really like Demon for some reason, but now Demon isn't even in my top three, I think. Uh, I go back and forth between the, the last boss and um, Ape. I really like Ape. Why didn't you talk about the Left Behind DLC in your Last of Us Creed? Because I haven't played it. I forgot it existed. I didn't play it. If I ever do a Last of Us 2 video, I'll probably play it and mention it. Because I'll have to replay Last of Us 1 to, to do the Last of Us 2 video. Did you play Hades? Not only have I played it, I streamed it.
It's okay. Not my favorite game. Favorite storyline told by a video game? Uh, favorite story in a video game, or favorite, best writing in a video game is probably Disco Elysium. Well, sorry. Not probably is Disco Elysium, but is that the best story? Um, I think the story that Outer Wilds tell is better. But again, that's not a very traditional narrative. Not that that matters. Demon of Hatred, best boss, you're gonna have to elaborate. But I just liked it back then. I don't like it as much anymore. I just really liked it. I just, it felt like a fun boss to me. I don't know why. It just felt like a nice change of pace to the combat that I've been playing up until that point. It felt different from everything else. I was a little, uh, getting a little tired of some of the, uh, the lack of variety in the bosses. So, um, I just liked it at the time. Did you know that Dark Souls 2 has a weird compass movement system that tries to keep you from moving in one to eight directions? Could be why you thought it played weird. Yeah, you can definitely feel that when you play. Yeah, it's not great. Thoughts on Metal Gear? I don't really have thoughts on Metal Gear that I can collect right now, but we're going to play it at some point in the future, near future, so um, you can see the thoughts live if you want. Come back, watch me more. Hurt me more. Any plans to stream Persona 5 Royal? Yeah, I think so. Any plans for a video on Nier Automata? No. I don't know when we'll do Royal. Have you bought any future stream games already? I think so, yeah. I think so, yeah. I don't think I have 13 Sentinels. I don't know if I should play 13 Sentinels on Switch or, or PlayStation. I think that's what you're asking. I think I have all the Metal Gear Solids. Do you think that Elden Ring lacks enemy variety, especially for its size? Yes, for sure. Doubly so as the game goes on. What do you think is the best FromSoft final boss? The one in Sekiro. Easily, hands down, not even close. There, there's no contest whatsoever. In the number two slot though, if I have to put a number two slot, it would be Dark Souls 3's last boss, but like there's there's a huge power gap between those two. And I like the one in Dark Souls 3. Um, and then after that, there would be an even bigger power gap. You know, the, the last bosses in those games usually aren't very good. I know you're not a fan of Tolkien, but how do you feel about Lovecraft's work? I've only read Shadow Over Innsmouth and one other one that I can't even remember. And I liked it, but I gotta be honest, um, it's been a long time. I think I was in my like late teens when I read it. Uh, I was a little bored. I can't lie. I was a little bored. It was a bit dry, you know, which is uh, ironic considering all the fish. But yeah, it was a little dry. I'd like to go back and try it again. How important do you think the length of the game is? How long is too long and how short is too short? And also, do you think many games have filler content that they just set, just there to add to the runtime? Uh, yes and no. Um, so filler isn't always a bad thing. Um, so I think that the way that you should design a game is, is always like, okay, so if you look at this game and also, especially in the platforming sections and Celeste is another good example. Okay, so see how these platforms are arranged. Like you can jump up and down them, like fall down them right here. Um, so these kind of platforms, especially when the, when the game is built around such uh, like a grid, like you can kind of make this a mathematical formula, an expression of all the different things that you can ask a player to do, especially if you're chaining them through um, actions in a row. Um, so Celeste is a much better example of this, that, that when you, when I talked about this a couple streams ago, getting into the flow state. So as soon as you leave the ground, and you have like, imagine there's just a bunch of shit over here that you're leaving the ground to go interact with. Uh, Path of Pain's really good for this. Where you dash through and now you have to pogo and, and, and get your dash back and hit an enemy and do do double jump and now you do a wall a wall climb and everything and avoid the, the fucking um, the, the grind saws or whatever, the buzz saws. Um, once you get into that state, there is a limit to the amount of things that you can do in terms of variety. And that limit is probably very high. Uh, like there's a lot of things that you can do and, and rearrange to make fresh experiences but um when you get into that sort of gameplay mode that's pure that's boiled down to its pure essence like a platformer is um 
it's a really good exercise to just go through it and just actually figure out what can you do like what are all the things i can do and you can actually just arrange them and just be like okay like here here's like a mathematical formula a plus b plus c minus c again multiplied by by y um and that gives you the answer and you can do all those things and you can arrange them all like like that that sort of thing um and if you're doing if you're finding repeated patterns too much that probably means that you're having filler and you don't want to put all of them in your game you just want to do the best ones puzzle games also have this sort of thing too where um i'm playing uh Patrick's Parablox or whatever the hell it's called right now and compared to Baba is You I feel like there's there's a huge difference in quality between these two puzzle games because Baba is You is constantly adding new things to the mix and is constantly making giving you new challenges and new kind of blocks to interact with whereas um, the Parablox game doesn't do that and it actually repeats the concepts quite often to add filler levels where like I very rarely um, and even when I did, there was usually a point to it. In Baba's You felt like, oh, I'm doing the same thing again. It's asking me to do the same test again. Whereas in, in this Parablox game, like there are some levels back to back where I'm like, oh, I just need to do the same thing again, only this time it looks a little different. So there's, um, so when you talk about a game too long or too short or anything like that, I would say a game is too short when you think it could they could have done more, they could have squeezed more out of the out of the um, the system. But sometimes it's like you needed to add more mechanics to it at the same time, which is a lot harder of an ask when budgets and timeframes are limited to develop the games. When a game is too long, they just dipped into that grab bag of potential things we can do with our mechanics. Um, that's what I think anyway. And the same thing goes for combat. Like if your game has 20 different enemies well if you remix them in different variations and different challenges and they all complement each other then you can have like a pretty good amount of variety in the in the combat encounters you can have in each room but if you're having your game repeat the same enemy types and arrangements over and over and over and over and over and over again unless your combat is really fun and has a lot of different variety that you can do like in devil may cry like it, it's fun just to to, to just like run around and just and just hit shit and devil may cry because you can just express yourself so much on the player's end um like you're gonna make players be pretty bored if you don't have that kind of system neo's kind of like that yeah neo can start to wear a bit thin but also has a very a, a lot on the player's end that you can you can uh, like i'm capped out on on um on neo pretty much you know and i like that i'm capped out but you can still get kind of bored if, if you if you don't have the skill to experiment a lot with the same kind of enemy types over and over and over again. So um, I would say that games are as long as they need to be. Like obviously, like uh, Elden Ring is too long, but if it was forty hours shorter, it would probably be too short. You know, like um, the rest of their games, I think, are too short. I think you'd be doing more with... Uh, well, I don't think Dark Souls 1 is too short, actually. I think Dark Souls 1 is unfinished, not too short. If they finish the areas of Dark Souls 1, I think it would be better. Than them adding more to it, you know? Which is weird, because the DLC is really good, but... Yeah. Do I think Dark Souls 3 is too short? Yes. Were you being hyperbolic at the end of the Elden Ring video? Would you really have no hype at all for another open world from game? You have no hope for their improvement. Um, I don't think I, I don't remember saying I would have no hype at all, but like my interest is very muted and just like eh, I I would like watch the trailer. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'll probably gonna play this. You know, like I enjoy their games or whatever. But I'm not I'm not gonna be like frothing at the, at the mouth to play it like I would be if they announced, oh, here Sekiro two, here's Bloodborne two. You know, like I would be like, holy shit, like I'm so excited. You know, like. I would be like, yeah, whatever, I guess. I, ho I hope they fixed it, but I, I doubt it. it. It really seems like they've... Uh, unless I saw something good in the trailer, it really feels like they've hit the limit of the design space on this game, and they just want people to use spirit summons and shit, and your playthrough is invalidated because you didn't use fire pots to, to throw at the enemy when the boss jumps around you. You had the tools, you just didn't use them. It's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, like the problem is that's boring. Sorry, I kind of went off a tangent there. I felt like there was another question in chat I really wanted to answer. How do you control your children's media intake? I'm not going to answer questions like that. Sorry, like I, I don't want to potentially open myself up to talking about that shit, and also I don't want to open myself up to accidentally shaming other parents or whatever. Like, like just, I, I would suggest that you don't really worry about all that too much. You know, it's okay. 
Would you say a perfect length game is oh, will always leave you wanting more? Is there a point of perfection, perfect saturation, satisfaction? Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, that's a really good question. Um, I mean, I think I would rather. Okay, so something that something that I, I learned recently, someone said to me, or I saw it online or whatever, which which really resonated with me, which I think is kind of dumb that I should have like figured this out a lot sooner, is that um, there's no such thing as on time. You're either early or late. And I was like, oh shit why am I in my 30s and only like realizing that now yeah of course duh like the, the, so it's like um it's in that kind of area like I think I would rather much I'd rather risk leaving the player wanting more than risk going over and making them unsatisfied you know I saw it on, I think I saw it on Twitter actually Explain? What about that needs to be explained? Okay, so when I was um, an impressionable youth, someone said to me, and they thought it was a teacher, and they thought they were being very smart, and instead they just poisoned me for the rest of my life, apparently. Um, they said, almost word for word, this. Being punctual is not being early. Being punctual is being exactly on time. Try to be punctual. And this has kind of made me want to, you know, be right on time instead of risking being late or early. And sometimes I'm early and sometimes I am late. I'm like, I think I have problems getting to places because of my sleep disorder or whatever. Um, but like, usually I'm, I'm pretty good, you know, but like, not perfect. But this kind of change in perception is that there is no such thing as being on time you're either early or you're late because like what is what is being on time like you're gonna like precisely time yourself to be there like the very second that it turns to the minute that you're supposed to be at your appointment like like this is completely unrealistic and completely fucking like like uh, so this is a toxic expectation there's no way you're going to be able to do this every single time so you have to make a decision like whenever you're going to an appointment or anything are you going are you going to be late or are you going to be early that's it Are you going to be like a minute early? Or are you going to be a minute late? Where is it? Is it here? Can't remember where it is. I mean, one minute early is pretty much on time. No, it's early. You're wrong, objectively. Do you ever grieve for your younger days? Dark Souls invasions or campy mobs and- Wow, that didn't go where I saw, thought I was gonna go. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. The happy- oh shit. The happiest I've ever been in my entire life has been, uh, is playing World of Warcraft. Would be a terrifying thing to, uh, to be true, but no, it's not. It's Dark Souls 1. Look at all these fucking punctual Peters in chat right now. They're like, just be on time, Lamayo. Like, yeah, okay. If you're homeless, why don't you just buy a house? Oh shit! You know that video where she's like that? If you're homeless, why don't you just buy a house? She's she's kidding, right? Like that's not a real person saying that for real. Like that, like, it's got to be a joke, right? Like I I thought for sure it was a joke, 
And then, and then so many people are like, no, she's being serious. I'm like, really? Like, like, I don't know who this person is. Like, she's, she's kidding, right? Like, like, you're only making me second guess. It's here, isn't it? No, it's not. Where is it? Oh, here's the hardest part. Yep. Really? Really? Do I have to crystal dash through this? No. It's a whole new game, man. This one I do. Am I high enough? Trolly game, man. Oh, you trolly game. There. After you clear that, you can jump through a wall somewhere. Hi Joseph, first time on stream. Watch a lot of your videos, VODs, since about Dark Souls 2 time. Thank you so much for the content. Looking forward to Outer Wilds DLC stream. Oh man, you're right on, first time chat from viewer. Glad you enjoy the content. You're very welcome for it. I regret to inform you, chat, that I need to pee again. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, shit. Come on. I hit it. Uh, isn't there... No? Okay. Any plans on playing P-War? What's P-War? Alright, I have to get through here first try. I don't think it's happening. Uh, 
Okay, wait for them to go. Dash over. What? Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Do I crystal? Oh, I can walk on that, can I? Okay. I remember being confused by that the first time I was here. Heels, please? Yay! Have you considered opening an account on Buy Me a Coffee or another tip jar service for people who may want to contribute since the Patreon is closed? Well, I have a PayPal. Um, if you want to use that, it's linked in the video. But if you don't like PayPal for whatever reason, someone said to Dream Nail these guys. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a huge, huge discovery. Holy shit. Um, but if you don't want to use PayPal, that's fine. Like, I I'm, I'm make enough money. It's okay. Like if you've ever given me anything on Patreon or you've given me anything on uh, like like a, like a Twitch sub or some bits or anything like you've given me like infinitely more than most people who watch like you're we're good like don't like thank you so much. Whoops. No, it's like it's a normal ass wall. It's here. Oh, am I gonna do this on stream with six masks and like hardly any upgrades? Ah, oh, shit. Oh no! Okay, let's wait, dash over. Let's not try to rush it. You've forgotten everything there is to do here. <laughs> oh, man. That's not even the hard part, Joe. Here we go. Dodge over. There we go. We did it.
Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, fall, dash, jump, pogo. Fall, dash, jump, pogo. What? What? Am I too high? Yeah, all right. All right, okay, let's learn how to do this again. Oh, all right. <sighs> He's healing invalidated. It's not a real run if you heal. Sorry, I didn't do I didn't do the normal way when I did it, so I'm trying to remember how I got up there. I skipped the part on the left. What controller are you using? Uh, Xbox 360. I want to do it that way, man. That is the hardest jump in here for me, I think. Not clipping the bottom of the vines when I go through there. I remember dying here a lot when I did this the first time. The part after this obviously is harder overall, but that jump right there is killer for me. All right, we did it. Hardest jump there. All right. Here we go.
Shit, shit, shit! Where did you go, Buzzsaw? Oh, I have to kill the two guys at the end. I don't know if I can do that. Shit. This is apparently the, hard the hardest the uh, hardest part now again. Not that fake hardest part earlier. What? Oh, I didn't touch the wall. My bad. I thought I did. Must have just clipped it. to move with it or I have to hit it on the way when it comes in or out. I need to do two or one. I didn't hit it. This is the one. I lied. So I think that's the end, isn't it? Or is there a little, is there another gauntlet after that? I can't remember. Stop disrespecting the, the the early part. Stop disrespecting the early part. Here we go. Come on. Celestio is crying right now. Yep, I double jumped afterwards when I made it.
Is Celestial like emoji joke? Yes. Just loves, uh, loves Celeste, though, instead of emojis. Can you imagine getting through this and then dying to the two guys? You will see this happen today. Damn it! I think this is now taking me longer than the first time I did it. Where did Celeste show go? I don't know. Geralt killed him. Alright, so I have to bounce off the saw blade and then dash through it and then I'm at the end. Okay, alright, I remember now. I think that's the end, and then you fall down and it's just a it's just a uh, a clear drop. And then um, Ornstein and Smo are down there. Too high. Yep, too impatient. OC. This is the best song in the OC, I think. Dung Defenders are pretty, pretty good too. But I also really like um, Soul Masters. There are too many. There's a lot of good ones. All right, here we go. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Yep, we're dead. Okay. All right, I have three hits to kill these guys. What? It kicks you back here, really? I didn't know that. Does it really? Oh man, I really didn't know that. Oh, cause it's actually a death. It's not um, it's not a what you call it. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, I can get hit three times. I'm not really good at finding these enemies. Usually I just have the, D the DPS to burst them down. I have to hit them more than often because I don't have a fully upgraded nail. Oh, let me go PL try again.
Joe's a poopy head got him? Damn, you got me. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. If I don't get it, I'm gonna go to Got Home and do a run of Got Home, and then I'll, that'll be the end of the stream. Uh, we'll try and cut out the audio. If I do get it, then we'll still go to God Home. It's not looking good. Okay, so let them throw their shit and then punish. I remember most times where I get down there, I just blitz down the first one. And by the time he's dead, I have like one mask left. I've done it twice. Wait, have I done it twice or I've only done it once? Maybe this is the second time I'm doing it. Just blitz down the first one and then... And then just let him throw shit through the air. Does this open still? Oh, okay. Shit, shit. Like, where am I going? That's how I do it. I remember now, it was the other timing. All right. Let it go up and then chase it. All right. All right, hardest jump, here we go. Ah, God damn it. Always clip from below. You know what's infuriating? The wings actually go off. That's the most infuriating part. Here we go. Really? on the ceiling. All right, let them whiff, then attack. Nope. There's your magic. Beat him with magic. Easy peasy.
I don't have any water left. God damn it. Now with delicate flower. Is that a thing? Thoughts on Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard? I don't really have any thoughts on that, sorry. I don't really go in for this sort of business stuff. Okay, there's a part up here that I absolutely hate. I can't remember where it is, but I absolutely hate it. I think it's up here with like the crushers or whatever, like. Notice how there's a line in the background so you can align yourself for the crystal dash, game design. This is it. All right, how do you do this? I don't remember figuring this out well, just to kind of just dash my way through it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you can't shake cloak this? Really? Spacing, I figured out where to stand perfectly to dash in a safe place. Yeah, that's what I did too on my first time, but like, I feel like that's not what you're meant to do. If it is what you're meant to do, then okay. God damn it. Shit. There we go. No! <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that completely. Rolly game. too high, aren't I? No, okay. Thought for sure I was a little too high there. God damn it. Okay, it's about here, I think. I was here last time. 
Nope, a little further back. Here? Too bad. How are you today? I'm okay. <laughs> oh man. All right. Can I hit this guy for soul? Is that why he's here? Oh, am I supposed to go down? Is this the end, or is there a checkpoint here somewhere? Or? I think this is the end, right? I'm gonna play Disco Elysium for the first time. Is the worst day it's coming? Just going with the dice roll. Oh, definitely go with the dice roll. Sometimes um, uh, messing up a dice roll is very entertaining. Don't say scum. Game is trying for Celeste. Yeah, Celeste is um, much more insane than this. But you have more frequent checkpoints and everything, too. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that was um, the audio test so far. I'm now going to switch over to the other file and do God Home. I've been streaming this game for like at least an hour, maybe even close to two hours, right? Um, and the audio is fine. I feel like maybe cycling the drivers and everything has fixed it. So I'd like to do God Home and see. So I'm going to switch over to God Home. I'm going to, and I'm going to do, I'm going to fight Nightmare King Grim, Pure Vessel, and Absolute Radiance a couple times until I kill them. And then I'm going to do a whole run of, of the gauntlet at the end, the Pantheon. And if I die or succeed, that'll be the end of the stream. Okay. I might, if I haven't cut out the audio at that point, I'll wiggle the cables around and see if that's the issue. Um, so if you don't want to see God Home, then, you know, you're going to see all the bosses. So there you go. But you just saw a big part of the game anyway. Did I play Super Meat Boy? Yeah, I did. I don't know. I don't think I streamed Super Meat Boy. I didn't do every level, though. I, uh... I, I saw an ending, but there's lots and lots of secrets and everything in that game, right? I didn't see all those. Tried Rain World before? Yeah, a lot of people have been asking about that. I, um... Hold on, I need to flex. One second. Oh, man. I used to be so good at this game. Um... I played it. I didn't really like it. I'd like to give it another chance, but I don't know if it'll be on stream or on my own or something. Okay, so let's go in the order that we're going to see them. They're all attuned in the Pantheon, so let's do that. Markoth was the only boss I couldn't kill on Radiant. Yeah, he's ridiculous on Radiant. I think he was the hardest. Even more than Absolute Radiance. Oh, 
Ooh, spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I did that. That was dumb. Being on the right side of him for this move. I don't know why. Miss damage. I thought it was the oh uh, god damn it getting wrecked do another move yeah I'm dead okay so if that was in the Pantheon, I would have failed there on Nightmare King Grim. Oh, so rusty. Right, let's go again. Be better, Joe. I know. Dying to Nightmare King. Pepe point? I don't know what Pepe point is. If that means like, haha, that's that's funny. It is funny, yeah. Like this boss is really hard, but once you fought him enough, like he's like one of the easiest, most consistent bosses in the game. I shouldn't have healed. Oh, I should have, okay. God damn it. Oh, Joe. Okay, he's close to dead now. I think maybe five more hits. One, two, three, four, five, nope. Six, seven, eight. Okay, three off. Okay, that was more consistent toward the end there. I remembered some of those patterns, but like getting back there throughout the whole Pantheon, I'll probably I'll probably die at Nightmare King Grim again.
So if you guys are gonna pull up to the casino, if you actually want it to be like, am I gonna do it? I would put it there. Cause like pure vessel is like, oh my God. Oh, here we go. a dice roll and healing when he does that but it's downtime so I always like to go for it it's always a dice roll going so well going so well I love that fight only three hits though that's not too bad why I wasn't prepared for the for the for the lightning balls. Alright, full heal. Will we get a lucky good starting position? Right here, come on. Nope. Oh that's like one of the worst oh yes. Ah, oh, god damn it. I can't see her. Shit. I can't see her. That's really bad. There's a trick to this. I remember f getting it consistent. I have to, I have to joust the fireball and then hit her. Unless I have full life. If I have full life, I can just go like 
pogo on her. It's like, let it miss me, then hit her, jump over the other one, let it miss me, then hit her. It's, there's, there's like a cycle to it. All right, let's try again. Okay, let's go more to the top because then wherever she goes, I can get there faster. Let's 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 be smart about this. All right, let's go up here. Don't go in the middle. Oh, you piece! You mother! She's dead. What? Excuse me? All right. Not too bad. Okay, I don't feel confident about doing the Pantheon. I think I can get to Nightmare King Grim. I'll be surprised if I don't. Although there is a chance I don't, but I do not feel confident about doing the whole thing. I give myself 50-50 odds. Like I just beat them like within a couple tries each, but like to do them in a row after doing the whole Pantheon, like oh, uh, like I I don't give myself good odds. Anyway, let's go do it and see if the audio cuts out and then we'll end the stream. Was that the final? Yeah, those are the last three bosses. You have to do those guys in a row. And I don't think you get any healing between them either. Maybe you get healing after Nightmare King Grim before Pure Vessel. I don't I don't think so. Did you buy all the charm notches you get? I don't know. I don't have all the masks. Was it always two here? Yep, there's always two.
Really? What charms am I using? Quick slash, quick dash, long uh, market pride, and uh, fragile strength. But not that fragile, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Has anyone ever done uh, the Pantheon full bindings hitless? Surely someone must have. Well, it's a really long challenge, so that's why I doubt it. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if someone had, but, like, I wouldn't consider it a sure thing. Yes, many people have done it. Hit, hit list with all bindings? That's mental. There it is. I believe it, but, like, many people? Huh. Oh shit. Oh shit, that's really bad. Can one of you die please? Get there! Oh no! Alright, we're going again. We're going again. That one doesn't count. Doubters are feasting. I got greedy. He was like one hit away from death. I got greedy.
There are mods where you can apply all bindings to the base game. That sounds interesting. I always thought, I think I said that in the video too, that um, the charms binding, removing all your charms was too much. It should have just put you back down to your base set or something. Or if it does that, it was like, I can't remember what it was. I feel like that one's too strict. Should I use one charm? Yeah, that would be pretty good. normal gotta love when chat makes the same jokes every time they learn from watching me Chat only makes plus two jokes, what are you talking about? MFWI get to type plus two in the chat. Is the plus two an NL thing, or is it just more widespread than that? I'm pretty sure it's a Germa thing, isn't it? Doesn't it originate from Germa streams? All right, my nemesis. All right, respect them. Respect. They're a lot bigger than you think. something else. Alright, we got him. Will you try to do P5 full binding? Like the full Pantheon with all bindings? I tried that, uh for longer than I care to admit um, when I was doing the, hall, the, the DLC video. Um, I couldn't get past the Collector. The Collector is what killed it for me. Like, I, well, I think I did get past it at least once, but like, I don't even think I've done the, um, the, the smaller Pantheon with the Collector in it because he's just such a pain in the ass on all bindings.
What if you monetize it by streaming your attempts? I don't think I could do it. To be, to be honest with you, I don't think I could do it. I mean, I find it hard to imagine if, if I, like, that was what I spent the whole year trying to make myself do, that I wouldn't be able to do it eventually, but, like, honestly, there's a little part of me that's like, eh, maybe not. Maybe you could never do it. I'm impressed Finn killed this boss. He was so excited. This boss isn't easy. He only has one nail upgrade too. How's Finn out? He's seven in August. this boss so much. They made it so they had they shared a health bar and you had to like whittle them down all at once together. This might be my favorite boss of all time. They just the flow state you get into just needs to go on a little bit longer. One more cycle. What would you say is a fair boss sign? Oh, that's really hard. Oh no! <laughs> I haven't hit her once yet! my favorite boss of all time like obviously because I love Chrono Trigger so much like Lavos is just a great boss like thematically but in terms of gameplay like no pure vessel in this game is probably up there oh wow I just Sword Saint is probably up there too. Sword Saint's a contender. I really like Sword Saint. Um, red from Pokemon. Yeah, that's a pretty good moment for a conceptual kind of boss kind of thing. Yeah. 
Bum, bum, bum. Right. I am really surprised it let me go through him there. Do I prefer the World of Light or the World of Ruin sections of Final Fantasy VI? Oh, that's, that's a, a tough one. I think I prefer the first half, although I do enjoy the second half. I feel like a lot of characters just kind of lose themselves to we don't know if they're going to be in your party for this, so in the second half, so it's just kind of like... And that, that's a shame, but I do like what happens in that game. In the second half. I'm trying to be kind of vague because of spoilers, even though it's a really old game. Undertale is a pretty good boss, yeah, I agree. I'm trying to think if there's any bosses I really loved in Devil May Cry series, and I really liked fighting uh, Urgil in, uh, in Devil May Cry 1, but I don't know if it holds up yet, or holds up still, but probably, like, does that matter right now? Like, I really like Urgil. What do you think about old PlayStation platformers? First, Jack and Daxter, Ratchet, Sly, etc. I haven't played any of them, sorry. My PlayStation 1 experience is pretty limited. I also haven't really played any of the first Tomb Raiders. Like, I've played a little bit of them, but um, not a lot. I don't think I finished any of them. That's mad. Can you pogo bounce on him in this one? Yeah, you can. You can't do damage to him. Okay. Whoops, I was looking at chat. Doesn't bode well for the uh, for the real thing. I'm trying to think what my favorite Dark Souls boss is overall, and I can't think of it. I don't know. There's so many good ones. I think Madeir takes uh, the best dragon fight from Sin for me now. Although it wasn't like that at the start. 
I still do like Sin, but Dark Souls 2 is kind of like, eh, I don't know. I love Champion Gundyr so much, I don't know. I like that fight too, yeah. Really fast, really aggressive, but seems doable the whole time. Yeah, I really like that fight. Are there any traits in particular that take a good boss fight and turn it mediocre bad? Uh, not being able to attack for a long time. The tennis match kind of system that's in this game for some for some fights. You take a turn, they take a turn. Even though if the moves are, are fun to avoid, it being kind of boring. You're not that. Oh, one more hit. Yeah, okay. Audio? What do you think, chat? Do you think I fixed it? Also, do you like this new mic compared to the old mic we used to stream on? It's a lot smoother, right? Got less of a tinny echo to it. Die to the jellyfish. I think I have lost a run to the jellyfish before. And I will again right now. How's the Witcher 3 vid going only two years late? I'm holding it back to piss you off specifically. Is it working? Seems like it. Thank you for the sustenance. I hate this fight. better than regular Nosk though, I guess. Because you don't have to deal with this trolley movement. Whoa, that wasn't a downward slash. One more hit. Yeah! How do game bosses compare to regular ones for you? Like, store- Oh, we're not done! Oh shit, I thought I was in a-
Du, 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 du. All right, how do gimmick bosses uh, go for me? Um, gimmick bosses can be fun. I really liked a couple from Elden Ring. Honestly, I wouldn't mind better chaos if it was if it was tuned better and you could actually see what it was doing and you could iframe through um, iframe through the the sweeps. Because the problem is with one of the biggest problems with the, with better chaos because there are just so many is that um, you can you can dodge roll the attack that it does. But it still moves you, so like it's it's not taking damage, but you're still going in the fucking hole. It's really weird. I don't know why they did that. Together, we will kill the very gods. It's like a worthy kid sketch, right? Scene in Smo is another really good gimmick fight where you just have to put up with uh, with From Sauce bullshit. Not very clean, but I don't like this fight, so I just want to get over as quickly as possible. Favorite duo boss, Gals can do it. Uh, Demon Princess for sure. Whoa. As a as a duo boss, what's better in in FromSoft's games than Demon Princes? Him, I've juggled him from full health to dead once, and I can't do it again. Do twin princes count? I don't think so. No, that seems like one one boss with just two health bars. Demon Princess is literally your least favorite fight outside of Betacat. Really? Why? Are you bad? <laughs> sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. That was mean. Um, like, uh, I, it can be chaotic, yeah. Hold on. Chat is paused.
I feel bad. So if we were to play a game tomorrow, would you prefer Resident Evil 8? Like, and we're starting a game to, to finish. Would you prefer Resident Evil 8 or uh, Stranger to Paradise? Oh, that might be hard for me to set up. Or Deathloop, or s if I say something else, then that's just like opening the whole of gaming to the world. So I need like another specific entry. I personally wouldn't mind playing Resident Evil 8. I like playing Resident Evil games when we come back from stream breaks. Outer Wilds DLC is possible, but that that's with chat down. I don't know. Inscription? Uh, I don't really want to play that, sorry. Not yet. I do want to play it, but not yet. The guy who told me to practice Zote right now is, is in chat with, like, bated breath, like... Got the I told you so all 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 typed out. And he, he might be totally right. <laughs> this is not an easy fight. I was like, nah, it'll be fine. Alright, good. God damn it. Alright, who's next? I think false hero? Fail champion, there we go. What? Fave and least favorite boss in Genshin. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on, I have to focus. I'm gaming? Oh my god. Oh, all right, well, here's where the run probably ends. Oh shit, that's one of like, the easiest ones. Yeah, this isn't happening. I'm eating shit. That means I'm trying my best when I'm eating shit. I'm trying my best. Because I'm working hard. All right, 
I might have it. I might have it. I might not have it. Oh, I'm playing so conservatively. Heal, 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 Really? Oh, okay. So it's pure vessel into into uh, absolute radiance. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Let's get all of our shit, even though we're never gonna use it. All right. Don't get greedy when he does his little circle bullshit. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. Trolley boss. What? That was nuts. All right, you're gonna be you're gonna be right here, right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nope. Nice. Oh, that would have been almost pro if I hadn't fallen into the fucking shit at the end there. One more hit.
Wait, are we the baddies? Audio tested, plus W, plus not maidenless, plus beta chat, plus bully, plus I'm not PO. Vadi, what is it? Vadi, tell me why. Okay, so let me jiggle some chords. I'm jiggling. I'm jiggling. I'm jiggling. The Vadi, the hit Hollow Knight Vadi's called Mossbag. Called what? Stop calling me Mossbag. You have to say what they're called. Worst thing in most bosses or enemies in general for me is when they model damage, not the attack. Oh, contact damage? I think contact damage can work, but it's not my favorite thing. It depends. Alright, I've jiggled some chords, and it's not crashing. So I think we're fine. I think we are okay. All right, so let's decide what, what are we playing tomorrow or the next day whenever I stream. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow. I have uh, something to do tonight, and I didn't sleep all that well, so I'm probably going to be tired tomorrow. But if I'm not, I will stream tomorrow. What do you guys want to do? Paul? Man. What are the options? I don't know if I can set it. Is, is Chaos Game, uh, whatchamacallit only? PlayStation only? I don't know if I want to go. I went through all the trouble to do the audio testing, and then I'm going to hook up a fucking PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> it's on PC. Is it, though? It's on Epic. Oh, it's on Epic. Oh, okay, but that you guys won't let me play it then, right? It's on Epic. Kingdom Hearts? More like Kingdom Farts. Got him. Otherwise, you'll see. No, the chat's going to be down for that. We're not. The first big stream back, we're not going to put chat down. How long is Chaos Game? Isn't Chaos Game like a big commitment, or is Resident Evil 8 like we could finish it this week? Kawami, Kawami's look crazy long. Resident Evil is much shorter. All right, let's do Resident Evil then. We're gonna play Resident Evil 8 tomorrow and then we'll see how it goes, okay? That's what we're doing tomorrow. Or the next day, whenever we stream. We're, we are doing, we are doing Resident Evil 8. But we may do Chaos Game at some point. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Anyway, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, letting me do the audio test. Thank you for putting up with it. Um, yeah, not great. Hopefully, it's fine. I'm a little worried still. I'm a little worried. But anyway, yep, catch you all tomorrow or the next day. Um, I don't want to schedule it because that's not what we're going to be doing for a while, I think. Gonna do Steel Soul like an Alpha Gamer. I've done a Steel Soul run. I've, I've beaten the whole game. I didn't, I don't think I did Radiance though. I just did a normal ass run. Um, I think I could. Should the audio test continue? <laughs> <laughs>